gross. I know you're like, how could a white man be allowed to be? <laughs> you can say the word only in the confines of this podcast. <laughs> it's what we do, baby. Yeah. You're out of your fucking mind, dude. I have the power. Let's grow. Let's grow. Oh, we back, oh, we bitches. Are? We back, bitches. I'll be back in the building. Race Wars. All right. I was so busy trying to ignore the theme song that I forgot. Uh, don't ever ignore that. That's only the stylish thing in your life. Me and that song. The, we, uh, them boys? Mm. <laughs> them you boys? That song, yeah? them I boys? love that boy. That song. Thank yeah? you. All right. So who's she? Knows. Who's she so introduced good. our guest? Yeah, let's introduce our guest. <laughs> so it's uh, Annie Letterman. Okay. Hello. And it's Letterman, right? Letterman? It is Letterman. With a D. With a D. With one D. No T is one D. And I point at my flat chest and then my dick after that. Okay, wow. Nice. Well, that's a welcome. That's well, a, that's a hu- hello. The, yes. <laughs> Tranny dick Annie. Is on her forehead. And then uh, Rebecca Jones. Yes. What's your middle name again? Your assassin? Naomi. Rebecca Naomi Jones was TV Sade. <laughs> right. So if people right. listen, they remember Sade who threw a phone at Gavin. Yes. <laughs> so in the pilot, we had, and TV Karen's coming a little bit. Oh, there? <laughs> yeah, TV Karen and Sade. And, uh, yeah, and by the way, because Rebecca, we didn't even know if we could get her. Rebecca's a big star. She's a big She's star. I saw Rebecca on Broadway. Hi. Rebecca's a big star f- to like four or five teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> why I know about you, because I hang out with teenage girls all day. Dude, hey, they love get it where you. you can. Dan, the producer, didn't know if we could get her, because she was like, like, you know, better than everybody when she was the audition. <laughs> yeah. yes. And he's like, I hope we can get her. She's like a Broadway. I, I'm like, dude, Broadway is like beneath us. I mean, I know I, it's art, but <laughs> we're on television. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll, we'll her. <laughs> You're an idiot. But I just watched you because uh, you know it was on that uh, American uh, American, American idiot. idiot yeah. But the documentary yeah. about it. Yeah. So I was trying to find you in that ocean of white people. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I yeah. There's, there's, oh, in the there's, picture, there's, the camera. They were showing the rehearsals of making that Green oh, right, Day. Right. Yeah. I, I went to go see that. I went to go see it with Chrissy with Chris Rock. How was it? It was great. It was amazing. She fucking stole the show. You call Chris Rock Chrissy? Yes, yeah, it's his cousin. That's his cousin, Chris. Where do we get pretzels? So we got pretzels? To- yeah. What the fuck is going on I here? I want to have a really dry mouth. But I want you to really hear me um, <laughs> smack my mouth together. <laughs> nice. That's going to be a nice smacking sound. No, I can't. I Eddie, cannot. I can't yeah. smoke pot Eddie and then eat pretzels. <laughs> That's just that I can't Before do Before any blowjob, she likes a nice couple pretzels. <laughs> That's why you get a salty mouth. I like to sharpen mouth. my teeth. Sharpen my teeth. Get ready to just dive in. <laughs> It's not a blowjob uh, till you bleed in my mouth. <laughs> nice. Oh. That's nice. the Philly way. That, I think we got a title. <laughs> yeah, we got a title of the episode. Dude, I was laughing so hard. I was in a store. Do you know you just randomly remember shit? Yeah. So I, said, so I remember to tell told me that uh, the Nazis tried to plug an extension cord into a Jew to make a computer. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the war, like that's one of their experiments. <laughs> they plug an extension cord into a Jew to make a computer. I'm sure they went, they, how far did they plug the cord, first of all? I don't know, but I just like... It's not like between the cheeks. It's all the way in. Just in a line chuckling to myself thinking of that. Well, a Jew just nodded yes, so I, can, I think I'm yeah. right my facts. What? what? Goldstein? They, they took the cord all the way in, and then they goes All the way in, and then it comes out your mouth. Okay. Mm. I don't yeah. think that's how a cord works, but all right. Yeah, but that's not how it works. Was that through the dick hole or the butthole? Oh, my God. <laughs> just let me go just I'm going to go butthole. <laughs> just let me bleed in your mouth. Yeah. Well, it's really not that hard. Nice. Yeah, we just settled our, our Gavin ha- uh, hash yesterday. Oh, Gavin stuff? Yeah. I never thought that was a good show. It was a great show. Great show. I remember why I like Gavin again. Ah, uh, he, so he needs so much attention. That's the problem. He's not fucking what? at Gavin home. McGinnis, he needs attention. I get it. He needs it. to be with Vice. He's yeah. like the first hipster, for real. Like, he's mm-hmm. the first one. All those mustaches, he was the first <laughs> fucking guy. With none of, the views, uh, none of the views of hipsters? No, he had them, but he's so, like, in his soul a hipster, he has to go opposite. So right, they, <laughs> right. Like, the hipsters are not hipster like, enough. the babies. Yeah, like, he did all that shit first, and now he has to be Catholic for some reason. <laughs> he and is. He's like, yeah, he is. What do you tell us? Like, a, a friend, like, got back with this girl, cheated on him, and he won't talk yeah. to either of them again because he can't. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what are you, well, like a black woman now? Too? Like, what do you give a shit? Like, he oh no, too she much. he cares too much. He, his name should be Peaches. <laughs> yeah, he bugs me, but I love him. Well, it was a good episode, though. Uh, Let's talk about my article. How about that, you son of a bitch? Yeah, did you? Did know you that? read it? Sherrod wrote an article about Tracy Morgan 
I read it. Okay. And oh. uh, I read it on set, actually. Okay. Oh. And then he Out loud. Post. It was great. And then on a New York Post. With yeah. my lips moving the whole did time. Did you see the picture? Did you use it, read it on a newspaper or did you hey. read it online? Uh, I, on my phone. I, you gave me a link. See, but the, the newspaper, you can see me in my newsy hat. I wore my newsy hat for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I want to hear about this no, article. That was a great article. So Show the article, uh, Kurt. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's a whole separate yes. conversation going on. <laughs> Sorry. I texted Aaron and then she didn't text me back and I was calling you know her Aaron already? She's getting out of plane. No, I knew Aaron. I met Aaron a couple times with Matt Koff, her boyfriend. Yeah. Um, and Aaron's a part of the family. Uh, her boyfriend, we don't really talk about around here. Okay. <laughs> um, we shun boyfriends. We know we're not boyfriend friendly in here. Okay, well, smash them off. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, and then I saw her at the Comedy Central, the Emmys after party. Yeah. And, um,. And I didn't know if it was her for sure, so I was acting really weird. <laughs> and I didn't want to, like, I just didn't want to have that moment. And then so I texted her. I got her number from Matt, and I was like, hey, sorry if I was acting weird. I wasn't sure if that was you. And then she just ghosted my ass. Really? So now okay. she's here uh, to tell me why she's a cunt. Okay, well, do it on okay. the talk. Go cunt on the, yeah. talk. Okay, cunt in, talk. My, in my defense, I am a cunt. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Me too. <laughs> um, but I was, like, getting on a plane when I saw it, and they were like, oh, okay, we get it. They let you on planes. They awesome. were like, turn your phone off. And so I think it turned it off and I just forgot that you texted me. Oh. Do we have any tissues? Because I'm crying. Right now. <laughs> no, I was just, I was so unbothered by it that it was just like, I wasn't even Yeah. It. So I got scared it was like another Aaron I defriended. I was like, oh fuck, did I just text the girl I <laughs> just friend dumped? Jesus. Have, Girl, a, shit. Yeah, have some more pretzels. And yeah. then, here's the other thing. Last night was the roast battle. The roast. Caitlin versus Karen. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah. And who? What's going on with Karen that? Won. I guess Karen avenged Nick. I, I don't know how to spin this. Avenge Nick? What, Nick lost to Caitlyn or something? What? Yeah, don't you remember? Nick lost. I don't keep up with what these kids are doing. You don't keep up with the roast battles? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't get the phone alert. What happened? Who won? Karen won. Oh, shit. They... Caitlyn lost to Karen? I yeah. know. Caitlyn lost? But they I had, know. uh... <laughs> Sugar, they were the best sugar, ones sugar of the whole fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, their thing was so much better like than everyone else's. Was really I did hear that. I did hear Crash in the Mouth. We took over the show. That's how spinoff show Crash in the Mouth, and that's their show. And yeah. uh, I heard y'all was the best part of the show. So, hundred percent. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. We we kicked butt. We took names. Nice. Came to represent. Who else battled? We did well. Uh, it was Jesse Dodge and uh, I, Nick uh, Nick. Cannon. Cannon were the headlining cops. This means be nothing now, to the Mike listeners. Now, Cannon. Mike Cannon. <laughs> Mike, Mike Cannon. Cannon. Mike, Mike Cannon. Cannon. Sorry. Mike Cannon was not available. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't there. Oh, Mike Cannon and Cannon and Jesse Dodge. Uh, I don't know my friend's names. By the way, uh, Will Smith and Nick Cannon went up yeah. against each other. Wiling out with Mike Cannon. <laughs> I remember being at... Jesse Dodge and then that really famous guy. It was crazy. <laughs> oh. I remember being at Stress Factory when they were announcing Nick Cannon's coming next week and the amount the crowd got excited about it, I wanted to burn the whole <laughs> Good. club down. You need to see how much America loves good old Nicky. Nicky Cannon. I, his comedy is like, I'm sure he's a sweet enough fellow. And right. He, you know, he's a good guy. He wakes up at 6 a.m. and milks uh, that really? fucking Mariah Carey every morning. Right? They, they're not, not together like anymore. Oh. I like his I like his kids. He's got one of those kids that has the um, little kid glasses. I love the little oh. goggle glasses. Who does? Who? Oh. You're, you're in kid? my heart forever. I love that. Oh, that little kid with the circle glasses? Yeah, I love it. That wrap all around their head. My yeah. favorite thing is when they have like the problem with the thing, so they have like the little egg on top of their <laughs> IPad? Yeah, a little iPad. Aww. Kids are falling apart, ain't they? So, so cute. <laughs> I really like kids with problems. I like, what's that thing we're on? Like broken toys. Yeah. Then they grow up into those things I want to fuck. You know, those fucked up broken I boys. Saw the, I saw these burn face kids. They were so adorable. We oh, had burn face kids. We had Together? a burn face kid at my camp. We yeah. had a burn face kid. We got a burn Joey. Did you fight over who got How the whole We him? had some burn kids at my camp, too, in Brooklyn. We had burn One of the Joey. kids, they was missing fingers. No, Ooh. no. It was three. Oh, man. Yeah. Shred his whole body. He was burned. Yeah, it was three siblings we, oh. we had three siblings oh, no. they all were burnt and some were missing more fingers than others but they all had that skin that yeah. if you look at the skin yeah. the Freddy Krueger face yes yeah, that's, and, that's a bad um, look but, but that, he was kind of a dick nice. my brother was like he was a dick and I was like well I think he's probably a little mad yeah uh, whoever flicked that cigarette um, <laughs> and then uh, oh, but shit. then we also had a camp counselor with like he was missing legs I remember he would do handstands in the pool he would take his legs off and you would see his nubs Annie, where, oh, where, no. where did you, that's uncomfortable that's you grew up near a toxic waste dump and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, where did my parents send me what yeah. camp was that uh, correct question Indian Point Andy, uh, Indian Point yeah. it was called in, camp, Indian Valley Indian Valley mm -hmm. they changed one word in the name did you go to camp <laughs> Yeah, sure. I, went to, I went to many camps. I went to Boy Scout camp. I went to church camp. Really? Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. 
We wow. did a lot of humping though in some of the camps because it was I mean, girl I and boy. I just assume that's what it's sure. for, right? Oh, and those yeah, ling yeah. tools. We stayed in a ling tool. There's a three wall. You get the three walls and no yeah. front wall. You ever stayed in that? <laughs> Going camping? You got to build the fire right up front of it? Okay, yeah, had to some of my best humping out there, nigga. <laughs> wow. Uh, I humped everybody out there, nigga. <laughs> How old were you, Sean? I was like, uh, I went camping from around eight to about 14. So Please you were fucking, we were at, fucking eight. at eight. No, Please no, tell I was me. humping when it once I said to 14, you animals. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, because you know how Keith probably. Probably says how he started fucking at 11. <laughs> oh, Keith? Yeah. Ah, uh, Keith. Yeah, I love how different that is for a girl. Everyone's like, oh, are you okay? I, <laughs> later, are we allowed to hug you? No, yeah, I go like this, it, details. Listen, do, yeah, you, yeah. do you believe it's a fucking, it's like a real rape if, it, if it's a teacher, you know, the hot teacher? I oh, say on a boy. I say it depends no. how hot the teacher was. And I, I remember I a teacher grabbed my dick before. Whoa. Yeah. Yes, a female teacher, and she was. It was this how it went down. She was like, "Cause I ain't seen in a while," and I just went by. It was like after school, so I went by the room, and I was like, "Hey, Mrs. Whatever," <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Oh, you getting big?" and grabbed my nope. dick. Oh, you were getting and big. I, was, I like how it's like, also, you were like, and my dick's big. And the moral of the story is... So, hold on. Oh, yeah, well, that's grab, not a mystery around here. She Charlie, had to fucking grab, grab my giant Everybody knows God. my mule in his room. <laughs> did she grab it first and then say you're getting big? Or was as, it, as let's, see saying, oh, wow. yeah, let's see how you're coming along. Yeah, let's see how you're coming along. And she used to mark on the on the doorway. <laughs> Put Sean, your dick, dick against marks. the door. Yes. <laughs> He's a big boy now. She measured it. Oof. Yeah, she had a lot of its memories. And that was it? That was it. That was it. That was it. You ever do any weird shit? You're from New York, right? I am Queens? from New York. Yeah, I never what had a teacher. What school you went to? What high school? A uh, Berkeley Carroll. Excellence in Every Child in Park Slope, Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, I went to Bishop Lachlan. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, cool. Boom. Hey. Hey. Now, go ahead. Finish your story. Uh, all I was going to say was that... Um, to add another bougie thing to my upbringing, I sang in the Metropolitan Opera as a kid. Did like, you? From when I was like you seven. Uh, I was one of those kids. I would have chased. I would have chased you. <laughs> I mean, you I know. got chased. <laughs> Give me your goddamn lunch money right now. <laughs> I got chased by a bunch of black kids once. Did you? Yeah. Well, so it's did not Rebecca, last I'm time. guessing. <laughs> <laughs> so did she, I'm guessing. <laughs> All I was going to say was that one time What we you did... doing singing? <laughs> <laughs> you think you sing better than us? <laughs> oh, she thinks she cute. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> 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 like, did you get like how real Shad Day? Because Shad is from Trenton, mm -hmm. but she always had to hang out with like the two white kids because she didn't have like. I, I want to know what happened to this Metropolitan singing stuff. Yeah. What oh, happened? The, the only the only thing that happened was that um, one time we had a like a co production thing with the Kirov Opera, which is from Russia, okay. and there was uh, like an older Russian opera singer guy, like a man, and uh -oh. I was a kid. I was like maybe uh -oh. eight, nine. He said some oh, ignorant shit. Yes, so and good. he came up to me. Who brought like, the mud? I'm so <laughs> excited. Do you love? Do you love? And I was like, what? What's do you mean? love? I don't know. I think he meant, do you love me? And I was like, uh, what? I don't, what? You like the cock? What do you mean? And then he was like, do you love? And then he just sort of went for it. He just sort of like, to kiss? Touched my vagina. Oh. Oh. He just sort of was like, he fished he just, you? Yeah. He just like, he, is that he called just, fishing? Like a fishy where you, I, my friends and I used to, we'd go to my brother's frat when we were like 16 and we would <laughs> shove our, we would put our hands together and shove them between guys' legs and go, swimmies, fishies. <gasps> oh my God. And why, hold away. on. Why is every weird kid I would have fucked that as a kid. I would have fucked that as a kid. But remember Gavin told us his weird game of like, oh yeah. They had a box and his brother <laughs> would stick his dick and go, who, who, who are you? <laughs> and he'd pull your dick. <laughs> <laughs> why is there always a fucking like rhyme? Like a light chain? Yeah. <laughs> Young white kids. Fishy, fishy, <laughs> swimmy, swim. <laughs> you gotta like find a way to make your molesting sound yeah. less disgusting, I guess. But that was fun. So he's he's grabbed your vagina. Yeah. And how old were true. you? I, I think I must have been like between seven and eleven. Those dirty and Russians. And did you love? Those dirty Russians. I did not Russians. love. I was a little confused, and then I definitely went home and told my parents. And my uh. dad, who's the black one, was like. I will murder this person. Oh. And my mother, who's the Jewish one, was, was like, like, he's Eddie, Russian. No. Oh. Eddie, he's Russian. Don't fuck with Russians. <laughs> exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you oh half and half, really? I'm a halfie. No, a halfie. Yes. You're Lenny Kravitzy. I am. I'm Lenny Kravitzy. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had um, I like that. Mm -hmm. Now you married or got a boyfriend or some shit? I have a, I have a boyfriend. I have a man. What do you do? Don't bring him around he's here. <laughs> I'm bringing a nigga around here. Okay, okay. I'm okay, gonna toss okay. him up an L around here. He's a playwright slash, you know, uh, he writes some TV A playwright? I'm definitely gonna beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga right, we read it right. Rebecca, is he gluten is he gluten free? Hell no. <laughs> 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 well, no, we we send him our best. Anywho, <laughs> I had um, I was telling Karen about this. I had a teacher in high school 
my art teacher who wanted to draw me nude and he jerked off on the back of my leg. <gasps> what? Karen goes, Karen yeah. goes, he Titanic to you? Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that the deleted what? scene from Titanic? <laughs> 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 it was the most erotic thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> he just came on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Later, he drowned. He didn't look like Leonardo DiCaprio. He had Wait. white man dreads, which is the most though. offensive. Ooh, First nice. of all, let's go back to the beginning of this fucking yeah. story. So okay. just take Where it through. begins. And let us live it a little, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Now, how old were you? I'm 16 years old. Oh, my God. So fuck-up-o. Yeah. The perfect age. I look so exactly like... Put your boners away for one second. I okay. look exactly Down like the middle boy. Hanson brother. Wow. Um, Even more fuckable than I imagined. Say, put my boner away. <laughs> <laughs> my boner's but, more ready now than ever. Because I knew it was going to be, my, it would knock the table over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I looked like him, but I was like a wigger. Like I had like the, you know, the lip liner oh. yeah. and the hoops, which I still have. Uh, I got to um, see pictures of that. You look like I Lisa like Lisa? One, I really have like one. <laughs> Walking around looking like Lisa Lisa. The problem was I took pictures then and I like cut them up and like put them all over, like taped them to my wall at that mm -hmm. point because I yeah. thought that was cool. That's cool. But so I don't really have, I wish I knew Throwback, throwback Thursday was a thing because I would right. be crushing. Um, wait. But you were in a room alone with this art teacher? Yeah, yeah, he was like, he was like, he was like. Um, Describe him, by the way. What does he look like? He is like, has like dreads and he like smells bad. Okay. And White dreads? White, white dreads. Oh white boy dreads are the worst white dreads. White boy dreads. Oh. It, I it saw perfect nobody. day and I had to fix my no. face. It helps nobody so gross no. it's like listen cut your hair and call your parents stupid and by the way do you remember that <laughs> shit where wh who's that chick that, that uh you know at e that the one i always say looks like the one of the ants oh, from um, ants oh julianne Julian rancic. rancic yeah <laughs> <laughs> that praying mantis what, dude, who got in trouble for saying their dreads somebody's dreads oh, oh that was her but, oh, yes, but, but, oil. but then i heard some dumb shit somebody goes why is when black people have when white people have dreads it's cool and black people have it's called dirty like where nobody did you grow thinks up? that's cool who no. the fuck thinks white dreads I, no one are like no. never been that's even a like, real prejudice i feel like i was brought to this earth to like take down men with like white guys with dreads like i feel like that's like my purpose i feel like i was born to be like your microchip like the punisher in the van <laughs> helping you murder them I you, you gotta be homeless you gotta be a homeless person with yeah. matted hair you be a as a white person to pull up dreads you gotta be a so punk. gross remember that girl that was just before karen i saw that girl that used to work at the cellar which one? We'll call her. Oh, yes, we'll yes. call her Annie. She had like a round head and those dreads. Uh, she had those dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah. And she sold acid. Yeah, and so <laughs> that's why you know her. The one. The, the, yeah. She sounds fun. Yeah, no, the she dreads was fun. you barely remember. The, but war, the, acid the warm one. pussy blanket one. That story. The one that like <laughs> yes. I'm tripping out. And she like I guess it's rape. She's jumped on me and. She my hand and she goes, warm pussy blanket. It was so weird to be tripping and have someone say that. Oh, what her pussy uh, must have smelled like with those dreads. Uh, well, it was all right, but her no. friends were the worst. They were all gutter punks. Uh -huh. And they're all those dudes that are like, the guys all look like coyotes, kind of. <laughs> you know? Right. Like they just like turn ups and God pulled them out of the ground. <laughs> These scabby, dirty fucking. <laughs> she was staying with her Russian friend in her, in her Russian friend's house. These animals just ruined the apartment. So this, this skinny guy, he was dating this girl it's like <laughs> annabelle some awful name <laughs> awful glasses they look like r crumb drawings these two girls <laughs> but not like of the girls even was the fuck yeah the cross hatching was just them cutting they themselves. had the same socks like she had the socks of nanny from muppet babies on pulled up <laughs> and uh they couldn't find him all night or something or they couldn't find her she had fallen asleep under a car apparently right. and then uh meanwhile this other girl who looked just like her but with dark hair right he cheated with her thinking it was her I, that's what I thought, because that's an honest, they both the same amount of just like, fugly under a bridge girl. But, uh, I just, like, why do you do that shit in New York? That's for Philly, that bullshit. You can't pull that gutter punk shit up here. Nobody well, wants to. It depends white on kid. where you are. It depends on where, it's, the boroughs are big. I see, mm -hmm. I, I see those Island kids Island sometimes. I see them sometimes around like 14th, but yeah. they don't last long. They don't last long. This ain't a town for like that kind of homeless. No. No, because you got to be really homeless. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's right. That nobody parents. has patience for you. Yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. And also, why do they all have dogs? Yeah, and yeah, that's why it. Why mad dogs? at you for having a fucking dog. But you know what? It's why don't you just go home and what tell the, your parents you're sorry? The, the, thing the, I love, <laughs> the thing I love the most is when they face tattoo, though. When they yeah. do their own. I'm like, yes, because you're going to fucking come out of this, and you're going to want to get a real life again, yeah. and you're going to be fucked, you fucking idiot. No, yeah. that guy's dying but under a bridge. But we so much New Yorkers. No, he's going to work at Spencer's. We so New Yorkers. 
We care about the dog more than we care about the homeless person. Yeah, and you know oh, why? Because it's right. not the dog's fault. That's Poor why. dog right. out there. No. Yeah. I, I, people are like, that's appalling. No, it's not. The dog's more likable. <laughs> by, a, by a lot. Stop I always it. feel like Start they're training. training. Listen, I've been homeless. They're You've humans, been homeless. Kurt. Have you been no, homeless? I lived in a car, not homeless. Yeah, no, homeless. I'm not saying feed them to each other, but I'm just saying I don't really have, like, for, like I've been homeless a bunch of times, but to yes. get to the point where, like, there's no one... Now you could be mentally ill. That's a real thing, right? But where no one in your life is like coming here, like yeah, you've done you're something. A, you're a fucking annoying no, motherfucker. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the gutter, shit, yeah. the gutter punks. It's like a choice. That's what pisses me off. Yeah, some exactly. people can have, could be gay, and their parents don't accept them, so they sure. out there in the streets. Uh, so hey, they all mixed I'm in together. Give you, I'm gonna give you a total pass for that. But though they even tend to find. Well, we can go to go to gay Tommy about that. Yeah, he, go he to gay Tommy. Real people that do right. You like you do a lot of shit like that. I only date gutter punks. <laughs> <laughs> There's my boy. I love Stay just like to tons mic. of butthole hair, just like that, like tons of butt hair. You only did the gutter punks, I, like there, butt hair. I love uh, just some dingleberries hanging down. <laughs> a little ding dings. When I butt fuck, let me tell you, I like I like that there would be a little challenge. Like that, like if their asshole hair is dreaded. Yeah. Like, oh, it's so good. Just oh, clump oh, together. My God. Mm. Little texture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God Almighty. Wait, are you Tommy, in- you ready for this? Yeah. Tommy do his segment. You're right. I feel right. like he's Wait, ready. Annie, are you into butt fucking? No. We know where Tommy stands. No. About- <laughs> I've never had anal on purpose. Never? Good. Uh, I never, it's I always mean, an accident. Uh, I mean, I've purpose? had it, but I don't like it. You don't like it? No, but I'll, I'll continue to do it. Because, right. Uh, yeah. well, She's cool, a team player. She's yeah, a team yeah. player. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to hear wait, why. I'll continue to do it because. I want to hear... Uh, because I get talked into all kinds of stupid <laughs> shit. Something about like being in bed. Like I like something. My ability to self-advocate just goes away. And I get talked into whatever they want. And I feel terrible uh, before, during, and after. And no amount of meetings that I go to Why do you feel terrible for being cooler than Annie, clearly. That's right. <laughs> she's like Fonzie compared comes to this when she one. Fucks. <laughs> Kayla's over here like the Fonz. Yeah. yeah, she's like the Fonz compared to this one over here. The no Fonz anal, the never on purpose. For me, uh, well, Annie Cunningham, I don't like. Yeah, but Annie's orgasms might be real. I mean, like you know, who knows? Uh, it's a real either or thing. I know she yeah. fucked up a pretzel. What about Rebecca? Broadway? I mean, Broadway? Do that, I don't know how that would factor They in. definitely do anal yes. on Broadway. Yeah, because you fuck guys that are probably <laughs> gay. On. Some do. Well, I don't personally fuck guys who are gay, but yes, I'm sure I'm sure it happens quite a lot. I've had a lot. Dark. I've had a lot yeah. of gay boyfriends. Where I know, but it's like kind of fun because you're like, oh, there's no future here. This will yeah. be fine. For me, that's like, I'll I'll like make out with you. You know, right. we can sort of flirt and yeah. talk gay. about it. But that's I, how I feel. I'll make out with a gay dude. But yeah. I'm not going to yeah. fuck him. I don't want to no, bone I was very clear with Tommy about that. Why well, have a line? <laughs> I like. I had a gay boyfriend who we'd always like. He wasn't out and gay. Guy, he would always wear a suit. We lived in New Mexico, so it was like really weird. And so he'd wear a suit, <laughs> and gay men would like reach out to touch him. They would like try to grab him. And I would slap their hands. I'd be like, not yet. Like he's still mine. And we would always. He would fuck. We would fuck. Like he was always like, let's have like, let's invite some people, and we'd have like these orgies, and like my nice. guy friends would be like, he's making direct eye contact with me. Like he would just be like, gazing into their eyes uh. while we're all hooking up. <laughs> I'll, I'll tolerate that for a nice uh, or George. It was fun. Like, I'll fuck with no, him. No, but the guys would like run away because the guys were like, "This is getting fucking weird." He's like fingering my asshole too much. The guys really gonna close. Wanna, the guys I gonna just want to be eyes. at an orgy with you somewhere. So like, yeah, Kurt and Troy just made a lot of eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we do this over the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then they did these hand things. That, I mean, I don't know. All right, Miss so Mary. go to Gay Tommy, Tommy, our friend of the show. Yes, who we met from fighting with me on Twitter. That's he's right. with family. I make most of my friends. So, uh, yeah, so he Tommy's got a pussy. A, what is your segment? <laughs> and Tommy said, yuck. <laughs> Patooey. <laughs> Get it out of my face. So, do we have a title for your segment, though? Did we make one Go up? to gay Tommy. All right, it's just we're going to go. Go to gay, I don't know. Yeah, we're yeah, just going go to go to gay. Yeah, there we go. go. All right, I'm, so I'm really is... feeling gay right now, actually, because I know who Rebecca is. Yeah. Because I used to yeah. be... I'm a really big Broadway queen. Mm. And <laughs> oh, I so saw Passing a... Strange oh, at the oh, public. Oh, yes. And I missed Broadway that. twice. You're so so really? Nice oh, to meet awesome. you. Nice yeah, to yeah. meet you, too. Yeah. And Everyone should see Passing Strange. Yeah. It's is great. Still running? Oh, yeah. no, 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 but Spike Lee filmed it. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. For HBO, right? Great. Mm-hmm. Everyone should watch it. Yeah. That's right. You were in that, too. Yeah. Damn, you working. Trying. You know. gotta get that boyfriend out of there. <laughs> <laughs> playwright boyfriend. He's out. Write him right out of there. Uh, I just feel like if he's a playwright, you're not really her type. Do you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa! I wrote the article for the Post. You fucking bitch. <laughs> now this has changed your Publish. life. It's the 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 article is new. This is your new life. That's my new life. All right. 
It huh. was very well written. Where I f I did go. Who did you plagiarize this from? <laughs> that's I how I know it was good. I've it made white it. people uncomfortable. That's how good it was. That's but how I knew it was good. About? Who's that author? She's Tracy black, Morgan. Uh, wait, oh, what's her name? In school, we learned she was a black woman author that you study in school. But her first story, the teacher like, you did not write this. Like that was her first writing. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Maya I Angelou? No. no. Sorry, no her she story. wrote that shit. First of all, she writes shit. If you take one look at her, like, yeah, that's what she would write. <laughs> I rise. <laughs> How dare you, sir? I, look, 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 How wait, dare listen. you, sir? I'm not against her. That's Oprah's aunt, you son of a bitch. I know. There, there's, there's a certain type, and they're play, all the play. fucking oracle from the Matrix. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have a cookie and rise. <laughs> By the way, if Dog the Bounty Hunter was black, he looked exactly like Maya Angelou. Did you know that? <laughs> all right, same face. But what? Is it? No, it's not the same face at all. Side by side, I say do it. All right, so Tommy, go ahead. I, like I look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. We're going to go to Go uh -huh. To Gay Tommy for our Go To Gay segment. Yes. So I'm going to talk about Azalea Banks. Have you guys oh. talked about her yet? Oh, that no. I do, yeah, I mm. love that girl with that song where she says cunt a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's great. That's Explain it to the audience, though. Explain it to the crowd, the truckers who so, listen. Yeah, I mean, I, f I feel like every second, gay person Truckers, please just bear with us right now, okay? All the truckers listening right now. This will this will be of interest to the the boy you found in that parking lot. It's going to be great. Go, okay. Tommy. I'll, I'll define my terms as I'm going through, because I feel like there might be a, a certain amount of uh, translation. But so Azalea Banks, is uh, she's a rapper. She's from New York. She's very young. She's 24. She's had sort of more attention paid to her social media presence than she has had to her music, uh, especially recently, because she just goes off on people. Right. She calls people faggot a lot, and yeah. she gets into a lot of shit for oh, calling people faggot. Oh, I didn't know she was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so recently... I like this son of a bitch. She was, actually, like today's you. the one-month anniversary of uh, right her losing her shit on a New York to Los Angeles Delta flight. Oh. She tried to get off the plane before mm. everyone else, and and uh, this French couple, not coincidentally French, mm. uh, tried to block her path. And the man put his hand in her face and she went off. And then the flight attendant came over and tried to de-escalate the situation. People pulled out their smartphones, started filming her. And someone caught her calling the flight attendant, the male flight attendant, a fucking faggot. <gasps> Oh. I know. I a my sexually I active know gay I, man. By the way, <laughs> of flight attendants, I must say, I much prefer a friendly sky queen to the cunt jerky that's often on a Delta flight <laughs> okay. yelling at me. Okay, that's Yeah, fair. Delta does have the worst cunts ever. The yeah. worst. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But the gay terrible. kids are always just it's a delightful... Uh, I do like, <laughs> I like, a, I like totally a gay yeah. sort of I got so, Tom yeah. Stewarter. Um, and so people <laughs> went bananas on her. <laughs> Among them... Um, so Drag Race, RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh yeah, it's the most important show on television. Is and <laughs> the most important <laughs> alumna from that show is Willem Belly. Okay, he's doing a lot of really cool work in comedy. You should look up what Willem W I L L A M does. But Willem <laughs> tweeted uh, the day after this. At Azalea Banks, well, the gays were all you had left, but after calling a Delta employee a faggot, you won't even work a Pride Nowhere girl. Um, Is that where she worked, by the way? Like, like Pride legit, shows Was she stuff? doing like a lot of that? Yeah, I mean, she's like pretty, like gay people like her, and she sort of grew up in the ball culture. So right. ball culture, yeah. everybody should, all right, so like the foundational text for gay culture as you know it is this movie called Paris is Burning. It's so good. From 1991. It will explain gay people. Okay. To all of you straight people, and it's a great documentary. I watched anyway. NWA. That explained it to me. <laughs> so, so voguing, right? So everyone knows voguing because of Madonna. Banks explained right. it pretty well. <laughs> so voguing, right? So, but that's actually like a black and Latino right. art form right. that, like, was. Uh, documented in this movie okay, right. and so azalea banks sort of came up in that world she went to laguardia which is like the fame high school mm -hmm. right right on the west side um, here in new york city she's really fucking smart she really knows a lot about art um I'm yeah she's not a thuggy chick like to be popping off like that in a you know like she's like a I mean, upper she class off. Yeah. <laughs> she pops and off. she's an upper class kind of girl like she's a little bougie, but upper class like. pops off look at trump she does. Oh, like, who she you know might what? be voting for, she by the way. Oh, I, by she, way. that's funny. Today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like her latest She's Twitter rant. She's the Trump of black chicks. Yeah, yeah. She goes, <laughs> she goes off. But, but no. So anyway, so all these gay people started like, and especially white gay people, and Perez Hilton, who's not white, but he's awful enough to be, um, <laughs> started coming at her. <laughs> 
And uh, and she actually has a history with Perez Hilton. She called him a messy faggot, which he is. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> she has a tattoo on herself. It's like, it's like the Delta thing. You're like, come on. And then she hits like a good target. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> no, but the Delta thing, I mean, I don't know. Like the way she talked about it is this man put this white French man put his hand in her face. Right. She says that he assaulted her. No one's talking about the fact that this right. man maybe assaulted right. her. Um, but everyone's talking about the fact that she used this word faggot, which, you know, about a year earlier, she got into this shit with uh, Perez Hilton, called him a messy faggot. People went bananas about that. But then her defense of that, she said, when I said acts like, uh, no, she said, uh, a faggot is not a homosexual male. A faggot is any male who acts like a female. There's a big difference. And then she clarified that and said, when I said acts like a female, I should have said acts like a cunt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> potato, potato. I thought it was, a, I thought it was a bundle of sticks that orders gluten-free beer. <laughs> well, that is not what Perez Hilton is. He is basically, I would say he's a racist and he's a troll. Yeah. Why is he because, a racist? I don't I don't know. Know. So he posted, no. so yeah, last December, racist. Azalea Banks, so this is the thing. Azalea Banks, in my book, can call anyone she wants a faggot because, per her defense, she says, I am bisexual, my brother is trans, my employees are all gay, nothing else to say. Wow. And so, like, wow. you know, so that's that's one thing about her. And then she goes on, like, the day after the whole Delta thing, she goes on and said, and trust, I don't say I'm bisexual to excuse my use of the F word. I say it to let you know that I lick pussy and tits and I like it. Oh. She's great. Oh. Oh. She's okay. great. So yeah, she's, she's just great. fucking throwing down and she has okay. every right in my opinion mm. to say it and I think gay people who are constantly being word policed thought policed by straight people should rather than being like outraged and like gr clutching our pearls that this black queer woman is using the word faggot we should be rallying around her because she's actually like a champion of free speech and of our rights how do you who, clutch wait, who, white okay. pearls who polices I'm, I'm gonna ask you, I'm not saying you're wrong but who polices <laughs> gay people like that everybody black twitter your mother like, like how though but I, <laughs> well, I, I mean, what's so an example of that <laughs> what's an example of yeah. being policed well yeah. sometimes all right in my personal life i'll just give you anecdotally like if i say something that's too sexual in a room in a mixed room full of straight people i often get oh come on don't say that don't say that don't say that uh, give another so that's example like a pretty give benign. an example yeah, give, give an example because so i have the same problem and annie has it worse than both yeah. of us <laughs> <laughs> give me something off color that you might say in a mixed room <laughs> like the first time i had sex with the duty shit all over me i don't uh, know oh, come on. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, you yeah, listen. doesn't say that that's yeah. my Tommy, you're just hanging out with civilians I That's got Alicia a Silverstone yeah, story just like that. I got to start hanging out with comics. Uh, no, so, but the thing Apparently, is, is that there are some gay people. How do I say his name? Is it Rich Juicy, Juice React from Gawker? Do you know him? Rich. Yeah. He's like one gay person who's actually been like pretty reasonable He's about cool. the whole right. Azalea Banks yeah. thing. Like but like other gays like Michael K at D listed, this guy Jonathan Brown at Rant Hollywood have all just like sort of come at her. And her whole point is that she'll stop saying faggot when white gay men stop calling her a bitch, a hoe, or a slut. So and never. So no, she'll never yeah, stop. So I guess She's calling not. out like gay men's <laughs> misogyny, which is like a real thing because we're not often checked because we kind of seclude ourselves. And I fucking love gay men misogyny. There's nothing I love better than a gay guy talking about how disgusted he is by vagina. That's the funniest well, shit. Well, it's real. It's like a true, real moment. Like, You're like, Thomas wow, da that's like so honest. Hey, when Thomas Dale talks, he goes, oh, it looks like lunch meat yeah. on a deli floor. Oh. <laughs> 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 that's my favorite thing. But you eat an asshole on a hairy dude. I just, I love <laughs> somebody true. so repulsive. Because uh, so you know yeah. why? It's like, because I'm like, wait, he's like looking at it objectively. Right. Like, I can't. <laughs> like, but like, I, I can do that. I can look objectively at a vagina if I've been dating it for a while. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably. Was that too much of a sting? No. Okay, good. Cool. No. Not to me. What are you? Really what are you saying? That was a girl, not to you. He's over your pussy, Kurt. Tommy, go. Yeah, you ain't over this. Kurt's <laughs> pussy is a mess. I keep my bike in it now. I don't even. I just keep my bikes <laughs> going there. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, the point being about this, I think that, like, you know, she's, there's all these calls to boycott her, to not let her come to prides anymore, right. but there's a lot of people who have used the word faggot, and I'll name three right now. And Kurt, just Sherrod, look. There's and a race thing here, right? <laughs> but there's a, race, there's a race thing here. So, you look at, in 2006, Isaiah Washington called T.R. Knight a faggot on Bless the set yep. 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 of Grey's Anatomy. Lost a job. Completely blacklisted. Yep. Uh, yeah, and, I love that. Yeah, and today, 
I looked at his IMDb today. He has five projects listed on IMDb in the works. Two of them are short films. One of them is a TV movie. One of them is a TV show called The Hundred. I've heard of none of this. No. And I've heard of none of the actors he's working with. I heard with. of The Hundred. Oh, wow. I mean, it has like a bunch of episodes, so I'm sure some people have. It's kind I of a know. faggy show, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm outraged. I'm banning the show. Um... Two other people that have used the word faggot much more recently are Jonah Hill and Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Right. So, and they're right? fine, because well, white people can Al- say it. Alec Baldwin, Listen, Alec Baldwin said, co- oh, he said cocks. Oh, wait, no, he said. Uh, Alec Baldwin has a very violent history. There's yeah. not just one incident Alec with him. Alec Baldwin, no. I used to think I liked him, and then I heard when he called his, that like message yes. when he called his the daughter piggy. a pig, and then I was like, great. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're my hero. That's what a great good man. Did that. Oh, she he probably, called her a piggy? Oh, it was yeah, so good. Yeah, she probably was being a pig. He would know it's her dad. He didn't know how old she was. That's what I was though. Like, 12. Come on, all of our parents have probably said horrible things to if them. My mom, yeah. if I were here. To my mother, my, I mean, my mother would never work in showbiz again. <laughs> yeah, my dad my owns too. my career. Because if I didn't call her a cunt, she wouldn't be up there. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing, if I, if you tell someone to get the fuck out of your face, like a TMZ, yeah, like I mean, the law to me should be: you get one, get out of my face, and then I do whatever the fuck I want to you. Like I, I so support Alec Baldwin just brutalizing one of those fucking. Oh, yeah, but the way that he yes. does it, Kurt, is like disgusting. Calling him a cop sucking faggot and if he's gonna say that cool but fucking own it don't say Tommy, oh I said fat he said fat head wait that's what he said <laughs> Yeah, Alec said, Baldwin said that? Yeah, he, yeah he said, oh, it was a fathead. I said fathead. Like, nobody says that word. I've never <laughs> even heard that. But he no. could have been going over his lines for the, the party, right? He said the same shit in the party. But that party. fucked him yeah. over hey, on Kurt, his what? You're a real fathead. <laughs> Look who's calling the fucking <laughs> kettle of fathead. I feel like I have been called a fathead a lot in my life, actually. What was your joke, Sean? Look who's calling the kettle a kettle. <laughs> Look at these two losers. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of cat sucking fatheads. Close the curtain. <laughs> Holy. Jay and Dan Soder are outside the window right now. Oh yes, Look close the Look at them, dry humping. What? what I saw what, them at mi- on at midnight. I want to ram both their heads together. <laughs> Let them come oh, in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we are getting they're sucking each other off. I wish you I think he just got a treat. boner. <laughs> Talking about a bunch of fans. Jay and Christine Dan Soda just appeared outside the window and they're pantomiming. They they can't even hear what we're talking about, no. but somehow <laughs> they, they got gay. They, they, they always go straight gay with everything, though. I know. <laughs> Let Tommy finish. Yes. Tommy. So what's your point? Fag. Everybody can't say fag no more. Or what? No, I'm saying that if you want to say fag, say fag. I think that the, you know I, I'm not into banning words. Right. Um, but, but white I, people get away with it. But white people get away. White men. White straight men get away with it. And mm. uh, really, I don't. Know. Yeah, you know, Jonah know. Hill says it, and he's got fucking but he Channing a, Tatum he running through his defense. Wait, Jonah boo-hoo. Hill is straight. What did Channing Tatum say? <laughs> oh, he had to do a okay. boo-hoo apology. Channing Tatum said TV. that's not like the. Jo- I don't know the exact words, but he basically said that's not in his heart. And his apology, often when you hear these apologies from people, they don't mean it. But you can tell that Jonah really meant Jonah it. Jonah cried. Yeah, because yeah. he went on fucking Jimmy Fallon and cried to another straight guy about it. Jonah had to pay for it by basically being a fake. Like near any. <laughs> uh, I mean, he paid the ultimate yeah. price. It like, to be fair, I'm into fat guys, so if Jonah Hill to- told me to suck his fucking dick, I would. Mm-hmm. But, really? Like, oh, but, oh, let's explore but, that. You'd say, hold that gun, tap. Hold it, hold it. Lift that belly, okay. Do you remember, yeah, fuck, you remember he tells joke where he, has some, he always asks a, a Latino or a black too, which is the funniest shit, because he always goes, he goes, would you suck a dick if you had a gun to your head? He goes, I would. I'd hold the gun just like this. <laughs> 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 but he asked uh, that one time in the crowd. This me- it was like his Mexican guy got fucking like no, like he got like upset, you know, because it's it like the guy's probably, it hit home with him. Yeah, and Jay, and he goes, "Oh my god, I didn't mean to step on anyone's Aztec manhood." Right? <laughs> wow, <laughs> oh, he's my uh, favorite. Let Tommy finish you heterosexual bully. What? Yeah, that homage. Monopolizing the space with your heterosexuality. Mm. <laughs> Fathead. This is the only space I get on this show. This is great, though. I really appreciate you guys letting me talk about this. But my point is, yeah. is, is that, yeah. you know, like, there's a hierarchy, and, like, the darker and the more feminine on the spectrum you are, the less of a benefit of the doubt that you're given. Now, some people would have disagreed with that, Tommy. For a lot of white shit? dudes. I wait, don't think so. A lot of white dudes would say that they are under more pressure than anybody. They can say the least. Because everybody would what always call them on it. But I disagree with that. I okay. think that the evidence that I'm showing you right here bears it out. Alec Baldwin's in Warren Beatty's new movie. He's in the new Will Smith movie. He's in the new Alexander but Payne he movie lost, with Matt But Damon. you still pay a pre- he had to, you know, He was about to have that show. He, he lost, lost that show on MSNBC. Yeah. But so that show was terrible. Nothing. It would have been canceled anyway. But that check, that check He's a terrible that's, interviewer. That's not what uh, he should be doing. His acting uh, career, which he is He should be screaming at his daughter. Just I want one show where he's just leaving voicemail messages for his daughter. He doesn't interview. What I do love about Alec 
Baldwin is is like what a comp- like he's it's such crazy. an awesome just asshole. Like mm-hmm. you got to see what's that movie with James Toback and him trying to sell? They're gonna remake that awful movie with Marlon Brando where he's uh, fucking that girl in. Uh, you know the movie. You're the, the worst. No oh, Rosen. The Last Tango in Paris. <laughs> last, yeah, they want to make Last, last Tango. Oh. So, so are they playing them as a documentary? It's a documentary of them trying to get uh, oh, of how sense. Hollywood compromises the movie making right. process. Yeah, because oh. Alec Baldwin has it really hard. I don't know. Right. I just I can't. Stephen Baldwin. No, no, yeah, I feel so bad for Stephen. No, but that was oh. Alec Baldwin. He, he is goes, God, though. You got to see his documentary. <laughs> the pompous shit. I, like I just love him for what a pompous he goes. Because to make it, to really make it, you've got to. Abandon everything, your family. It has to come before friends, family. To say and right, and is he that pauses, bad? Wait, he pauses. He goes, and I just couldn't do that. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh you're the greatest. Oh, and, uh, the worst. Yeah, and then them pitching this piece of shit movie they're trying to make. It was called Sed- Oh, Seduced and Abandoned is the documentary, and that's the movie they're trying to make. And they pitch it as Last Tango into Crete, where it's like this liberal reporter and this really conservative guy just fuck a lot in a hotel room <laughs> into Crete, and it's going to be like m- over millions of dollars because it has to be like into Crete. Which like one? Like you can't just shoot this fuck movie somewhere else. With Which one does Alec Baldwin play? The dude, <laughs> and they're pitching it to actresses like and he goes. Yeah, we. You it's just us. And he goes having, I would say, exploratory sex, like shit, like that. She's like, Rebecca's well, thinking about it. She's like, is there any singing in a bar? Dude, the actresses, <laughs> <are you> singing, <laughs> yeah. like, the singing in a bar. The actress is like, I don't think I want to do that at all. Like, like, like I don't want to just get. And goes, and then I abandon you. That's, that's the fucking bitch. Wow. It's the worst shit. I, and then they show clips of Last Tango in Paris with Marlon Brando. I had no idea what a piece of garbage that was. Oh, awful. Uh, yeah. With Marlon Brando, like, oh, he's like, he, do you ever see it before? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, ridiculous. I was crying laughing at it. He goes, it's ridiculous. I want you to, oh, I want a pig to fuck you. I want a pig to fuck you. He's like, <laughs> yes. He goes, and then I want the pig to die when you come. I don't want him to fart in your face. I want a pig to fart in your face. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And, like, and then the director's like, yes, Mar- Mar- Marla never forgave me for, for putting him in that film. Because <laughs> it was some oh, shit that Did Marlon... you make up the fart thing? No. no. It's That's in the movie. That's so funny. <laughs> Wait, oh, Aaron, go on the, on the mic. What are you saying about oh. this Instagram? Um, okay, so... Tommy, on... thank you for that. Thank you. We're going to have some callers call in. If you've got something to say about Tommy's hey, segment, John, go call in. John, and get Emily. She doesn't know how to get in. Um, so Alec Baldwin's wife, Hilaria. She has glasses and blonde hair. Wait, her name's Hilaria? Hilaria. Her That's real her name. Her real name's Hilary, but she started going by Hilaria right around Wait, the time. That's no, not her real name. Who is this? Who is this? Alec Baldwin's wife. Oh, okay. And uh, her Instagram yoga is all yoga, right? Dude, her, no, there's one of her from nine eleven. Um, not this past nine eleven because I celebrate every year, <laughs> but uh, the nine eleven before. How do you celebrate? Um, <laughs> It's you know, Muslim just light some candles. Two towers yeah. of Two cheese candles. and your crash well, I crackers. Usually, I usually get really drunk. and uh, Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so she uh, she posted something of her, like, you know those lights that are up on 9-11? Right. Mm-hmm. The- she posted a picture of her with them sure. in the background and her, like, very obviously fake crying. No. I think she was trying to be, like, poignant. Oh, no. But, like, it's really, really funny. Yeah, and I was actually looking for it just now, Kurt. I was going to send it to you of her, like, do it. She's, like, she's, like going like this. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah. And it's well, from 2013. What was so it's not like it's 2002. Yes. Like, did she just throw a throwback Thursday? Did she, she just like made it seem like she put like a CPU on know. it to make it look older? She was definitely wearing workout wear, though. So well, I'm she does yoga. yoga. Like, she'll do things like where she'll do yoga backwards Emily's and like change yeah. her baby's diaper Hold with on. her toes. Better Annie just came in. <laughs> I'm first Emily, please. Yeah, uh, this is TV Karen, uh-huh. Emily Tarver. Oh, Emily's playing with Karen? She's, she's on, yeah, she's okay. on. Okay. Uh, Orange is the new black right, right now. Yes. I know, Emily, we did best we ever for prison fucking two years ago. Is that right? Yes. My prison bun. Like how you think you're introducing to me to people. Oh, what a M? cute prison bun. Are, do you get to wear those glasses, though? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. It's all right. I mean, I just, I mess with that. That's not Boy, fun. We got, we got a real taco party, party going on. <laughs> we got to get her a mic or something. Yeah, you yeah. can take well, one. Put it in that chair right there. Yeah. Put it in a chair. and then share with me. Make sure you get the camera on her. Hi. Oh, God, wait, there's a camera in there? We got a lot of broads in here it's today. Fine. It's fine. It's a hen house. It really is. You have cool <laughs> hair. You have strict hair. Well, she's I'm a guard. Stern. You have angry. Yeah. Angry. Uh, What's your name on the show? Inmates, stop eating each other out Bambi. here. Really? Uh, what is it? Bambi. Bambi? <laughs> like, now, what are you in for? That's so cool. It's our... It, our it's, it, our, use that mic right there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything about oh. it. Oh. Okay, don't do it. Don't I'm do a it. guard on the show, and my yeah. name okay. is... I will be the one to ruin my career out of this, okay? Not you. Yeah, well, so that's with that Instagram you brought up, Aaron. 
Where's Aaron? Aaron? Where the hell she go? Oh, because because Annie's around. Instagram. Annie had this funny ass video. Do you have it like where you can show a shot? It's yeah. her in Times Square, just punching a cop. She's like, look, he likes it. He likes it. Like they got some cops to agree to it, and uh, so she posted. She sent it to me. I go, white privilege immediately. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but well, I said at the end, I go, what if I was black? And then I end the video. And then she cuts the video, but then somebody writes it like that's racist. But it was like story. just like a little girl, like a little black girl that like watches Girl Code. Like did she, she didn't understand. I was like, well, why is it racist? Yeah. And it turned into this like this battle on my Twitter. Did it really? Or my yeah, you Instagram. can't just push shit. <laughs> like nothing is just great. like a little thing that's fun. Like everybody's got to project. I'll be the judge of how their... racist it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm taking a look. Two fucking rookies. This guy just wants your number. Look at him. Fucking nineteen year old with a gun. He bugs me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the video. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's and the she said, "This is it. racist." Yeah, she goes, that's racist. And I was like, how is it racist? And then some, some black guy's like, it's not racist. And then some some white guy who dates a black girl writes, <laughs> uh, you should be, the girl already admits, she goes, you guys are right. I don't really understand what I'm talking about or something. Like She was like, I don't understand what's happening, but right. okay. I don't apologize. I just, I'm like, this isn't racist. And um, <laughs> so then the white guy who's dating a black girl goes, you have every right to be offended. Gets this like little girl aff- annoyed again. <laughs> and then is like, end to the black guy. And you're a fool. And everyone's like, what is going on? Like he just re-brought it up. Oh boy. He's such a scumbag. Do you want but, me to handle it? I can handle it. To but impress this is my other I put favorite. the word out to get the wolves over there. To impress his uh, girlfriend. And his black girlfriend? His but black he, girlfriend. listen, he's, I ain't going to blame him. He got to do what he got to do to stay up in that Ebony Poos Poos. She's really hot. Ebony yeah. Poos. He comes, comes with the rules. This is my other favorite, <laughs> Ebony Annie. Ebony Poos. Because Annie's on Girl Code, right? So her, her audience yeah. is, you know, either children or, or morons. Or yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, who would watch that I give that really show? good advice. No, Girl so Code's she, an all right so show, yeah. Kurt. So Don't Annie, let Kurt down you. It's a, oh, it, I, I mean, it's it's just an abysmal piece of shit. <laughs> it is. So here's, here's a picture of Annie Drew, which is funny. If her look in the mirror and she's Danny, Danny DeVito. DeVito. That's hilarious. Okay, now what's the controversy? I would fuck both of them, by the way. <laughs> I know. I, I don't even see what the problem is. Like, wow, you're both hot. Yeah. So what, but, <laughs> it's like but, fucking but twins. Yeah, what's What's the issue of this? People are mad of like, this is not helping women's body issues. People are like, this is, how dare you body shame Danny DeVito? Short, fat Danny wow. DeVito? No, that also, was... I'm not body People did not him. say that. I, just... I swear to God, Danny People DeVito would be really that? hurt by this. One, no, he wouldn't. And two, you actually, I wasn't. I'm not body shaming him. I'm saying when I look in the mirror, I don't know what the fuck I look oh, like. There they go. Danny Annie. DeVito looked like a fucking torso with a head on it. Hold on, look at this shit. <laughs> he deserves all, to be body attacked. Body shaming isn't a thing. Like, yeah. Like, here's not. the thing. There's, there are situations where body shaming is yeah, like someone being like, you should die, you're fat. Like, that's body that's shaming. Right. Body shaming is not like, oh, someone's hotter than me. Yeah. That's not body shaming. And the cure for that is just not giving a fuck. Like right. that's Welcome to race wars. Like, don't. Yeah, well, that, listen. That's Who why. Cares? That's also why shaming's not a thing. Like, if I'm not ashamed, how are you gonna fucking shame me? Also, Kurt, you yeah. should be ashamed. Well, I'm not. Oh, also, so shaming. Also, Look at that. also, if you don't fat shame me, how am I gonna lose weight? Do you know, know what that's I mean? the other thing. How do I know when it's tough? How the fuck am I gonna do uh, something with myself? I, I had a commercial a pulled shame. off the air about, because could, of the. I had a commercial that I did for a yogurt company. Right. A famous yogurt company, and they pulled it off the air because they said it was body shaming. And what was it? Oh uh, it was y- your play. No, but what was the? I remember that commercial. No, that was body shit. Was it the commercial where you throw it on the ground in front of a fat girl and make winking sounds? Like? <laughs> no, that one stayed on the air for quite a while. <laughs> no, I was like, don't see want you bitch. <laughs> Oikos, that's yeah. the big one. Yeah, 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 okay. Go ahead, what Emily. Was I was like looking in a fridge and like had an internal monologue of like, okay, I'll eat one piece of cake and then I'll do 50 sit ups. No, okay, a tiny piece of cake and then I'll run all the way home. I remember that. That's not yeah. fat shaming, that's an eating disorder. Those that's make- an eating disorder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That I make- all just have, by the way, and it's yeah. fine. It's, it's not a disorder, eating. it's called just being a person. It's called it, being a grown up. It made me want to kill yeah. myself, though, when you yeah. did the lines. No, we talked about this before. What is I didn't want to kill myself. Because, yeah, when you see this too, right? Like, I just passed. When you go to the cellar and I'm coming off the West Highway, there's a big uh, Lane Bryant oh, yeah. like, stretch ad. Yeah. It's well, a they don't have small Lane Bryant. They got to fit those models. <laughs> but it says, it's like, is that at the Staten Island Ferry or a poster for Lane yeah. Bryant? Well, here's two things. One, like, all, uh, part of it is not feminine. It's the fucking like marketing shit that you're. It's upsetting to me more than the idea. So that's part. But it's plus is equal. That's the the slogan. <laughs> and it's always like fat model. I fuck all of them. They're fine. Every you know? single one of them. So, so Eat their buttholes. Yeah, they're all, you don't know. look at me funny, Tommy. Yeah, I like women's buttholes. Yeah. So 
son of a bitch. I've done worse than, than any of the ones on there. I'm Fine. sure. But this fucking, it sounds like such an inferiority complex to be like, all women are beautiful. Yeah. All women are an it's engineer. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All, like, and they're like, we need more pictures of girls looking in microscopes. Yeah, and when, like, It's all that kind of dumb shit. Like, if you saw posters that says all men are beautiful. Yeah, all men are handsome. <laughs> How what a bunch of lookers. <laughs> I mean, that's coming. That's coming. I think like uh, equality, yeah. equality in a capitalist society means that eventually men will feel like shit to the same oh, degree no, they, that we do. Yeah, the boys nice why, and pussied up. Listen, that's why everyone was getting mad because I was body shaming Danny fucking DeVito, the three foot tall fat <laughs> Is that man. That's what they said? Bald fat man. <laughs> and then they go, and then there's the... Wow, so the, you're right. Everyone yeah. sang it. This girl wrote, okay, bummer. This is the title. This drawing is supposed to examine body image. I mean, it's just a fucking drawing. Also, shut the, the drawing fuck up. I fucking drew. You don't yeah, about know your why family. Yeah, you yeah, can do about your family. That's how you feel. Can you just let the female Ziggy do her thing, please? <laughs> 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 okay, this drawing is supposed to examine body image. Unintentionally perpetuates body shaming. I got news for you that's never going away. Like, like even if everybody's nice, you yourself know if you fucking body sucks better it's than anyone. Yes. It's like how is how is you looking at yourself and saying, "Hey, I can fix that body shaming." And I, you might look, she might look in the mirror and see Danny like, DeVito. Wouldn't That's more, her own listen, shit. Listen, wouldn't a better thing be to just be like, you could just do other things besides be hot? Like, there's other. I think that's probably the ideal thing, right? Like, they don't not, say that. Not, not be hot. Just you not worry about, hot? Being hot. about being hot. To have like a Bobby, whole bunch of things. Don't worry about stuff. being hot. Just fucking live your life and try to create good things. And mm -hmm. you're who's hot? Uh, that doesn't like, sell enough. Like, <laughs> yeah. Being, yeah, yeah nobody way. cares. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Nick, who's the uh, who's the one that don't like you, Parker Malloy? Yeah, no, she hates the transite. Now, here's what's funny. Bailey J, who's our friend, right? We got to get on friend of the show. She got to come on the show. Yeah. By the way, so a gym's pilot, Bailey J is like the announcer girl, right? Right. And so me and Bailey J right. were sitting and talking, and it was getting like, you know, it was like flirty, where like we're sitting there talking, and then she's like kind of bumping. We're like kind of bumping into each other. A little she bit knew you talking. wanted a taste of it. She knows. And it was fun. I'm like, this is getting funny. I'm, I'm thinking like, what? Now there's the thought. There's like tell Karen like my thought press. I'm like, I wonder how much like prison I'd have to have to be like cool. I told Karen like how much pressure. And Karen's like, you do it on a fucking comedy seller cruise <laughs> yeah you would just a two hour comedy boat no ride is all it would take no coaxing for you to go I do the top part for sure but you let her bottom part do you uh, you pass out halfway through, uh, <laughs> and she just help herself to all that fucking baloney. Listen, if I if I could, I would, but I don't. Twenty five dollars worth of baloney you got down that, there. That's that. She has a long, smooth white dick. Uh, she has just, a great mule. She has a mule. Much. That's what's so disturbing about her because she looks so hot as a girl, and then when you see pictures of her with that fucking mule, it's like goddamn. But Bailey was it's a big uh, dick on you. She's kind of. I think she have a small her. dick. I can but pretend listen, it's a clip. I think she got born. She was she's born. She's her bliss. She was born kind of uh, intersex. That's what it is. She was already. She was born almost like hermaphrodite. She told me, like that's what she thinks, and so it was a good transit. And she did it young. She did it young. That's the only oh, reason she why she looks so good. She? she did it young, like fifth, four, fifteen, oh, sixteen. Really? Yeah. So she it did it young. That's why wow. she looked so. That's why she. It took so well. On so her. Parker right. Malloy, who is just got it Parker Malloy, well, is stuck. just god awful. If you read Parker Malloy, it's just this dippy shit. She hates Nick Mullen. Oh, it's I like, love when people And she's like, hate watches Nick. his uh, comedy, <laughs> and she's like, it's making me laugh. But I know that's just what he wants. Like, yes, he's a comedian. Dumb bitch. But Bailey's the one that helped her transition. So oh, she, Parker? Yeah, and then Parker turned on her because she's like, a di and it's all based on Parker's not hot. And that's the huge thing. The, that's the, the trans difference. Thing. It's passing is that, well, well, I don't know how much you know about that. Where's Tommy? Right here. Yeah. Passing kinda, is... Do you know how much you know about trans shit? Because honestly... Look, not, to tell you the truth, uh, that's why people pay so much attention to Caitlyn Jenner's how she looks. Right. That she's got, everybody got to say, she's beautiful. Yeah, six five, nigga, stop. <laughs> well, I, well you, I, you, you got a, a fetish for Lisa Lobo, I motherfucker? Say, I gotta say, she came out pretty good for, uh... I pulled out Lisa Lobo, fucking, by the way, Andrew. You know, okay. what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, you can't. Okay. Kind of a street, so the only way to Get on the mic. Put him on the mic. Turns. What are you saying? Turns like... continue with the conversation too. He's supposed to be in charge of this. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I was thinking about anything. that sweet Caitlyn Jenner dick, and I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. But uh, all I know is that like testosterone, the way it works in the body is it's kind of a one-way mm -hmm. street. So, right. like, it what it does to the skeletal system is it, the only way to reduce that and feminize the face is through surgery, which is why Caitlyn Jenner looks good because she's a millionaire, and right. why a lot of people that don't have a lot of money maybe looking a little rough. 
Well, yeah, they don't pass oh, in the same pass. way. It's not. Right. Yeah, it's about passing, I guess. But that's really not the goal for a lot of trans people. So I don't want to speak for trans people. Cause it's they, not the goal, really. I know dick about it. It so. depends. <laughs> I think it really depends on the person. Uh, I, yeah. totally I think that. Yeah. Pa- well, for but a it's lot also why of it's them, easier yeah. for like it's not easier, but it's easier for I think. Uh, trans women to pass yeah. so to speak because testosterone like i said it's a one-way right. street it bulks them up in a way that like taking estrogen doesn't yeah. reduce the yeah i've met some, reduce your bulk. i've met some men that started as women that i am like fucking flabbergasted mm-hmm. like they don't look they're like balding and like be, you know like they they really welcome went. to the club yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bitches feel yeah. lucky <laughs> they went because they didn't have, feel the pressure to be hot yeah well when i was christine Metzger, i have to say <laughs> fuck it uh <laughs> Wait, let me ask you this, both, uh, all you guys, because this is my favorite thing, that UFC fight, fucking Fallon Fox, who just mauled a woman, like, and I love being like, it's a fair fight, you're both women, what's the problem? Oh, the, the, <laughs> oh, the woman who... Yeah, and then I read these yeah. fucking HuffPo articles that are written by some fucking liberal pussy, doesn't like any kind of sports, who's like, no, it's the same, like, you don't even watch this fucking sport. It's not the same. And, and, but what do you guys say, like, do you say that's a fair fight, the Fallon Fox, remember that controversy, because people she like... Came, she got, she's, yeah. She had a sex change. What, like, what I do don't you, know what you're talking about. I don't about. either. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you it's don't a know about this? female wrestler. We, a, a, a what's UFC the name? fighter. Fox. UFC Fallon fighter. Fox. Okay. We saw a woman. She used to be a man. Right. She transitioned to a woman. Okay. And now she's fighting women in a fucking uh, cage match. Ronda Rousey won't fight her because she's like, well, that's a man. I'm not fighting her. Now, when it comes to that, like a fight like that, because that's where it's like, it's all, because I'll be like, hey, you're a woman, you're a woman. Wait, like, but, bad but shit. Fallon Fox but is 5'7 and man. 143 pounds. That's like a normal woman. size for a woman. Is it? Whoops. Right? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> she's. Hey, I'm listen, gym. <laughs> you just said testosterone's a one way street. So I got to imagine the strength is a. The person, yeah. yeah I, well, listen, I guess we got to see Fallon Fox beat up more women to know for sure. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. That's a good name. Fallon is it Fox? wrong yeah. if I want to transition just so I can hit women? <laughs> well, no, okay, You've done it so well as a man. Man, why change now? <laughs> I've never have. Choke, punch, whatever. I've never punched a woman. But I, I, I like, you know, <clears throat> if I was attacked. You were trying to make a fist around her neck, but other than that. No, I didn't even Listen, do that. Listen, all I know is when I look in the mirror, I see Rhea Perlman. <laughs> so who's, <laughs> help, who's helping me? Well, that's the thing. Everyone got mad, too. They were like, this is transphobic. I'm like, what, you fucking what? assholes? What are you t- I drew a picture. I took a pencil, and I took a piece of paper, and I drew a picture in three hours, and all of a sudden, I'm transphobic? Fuck yeah, you. You're afraid that you look like Anthony- <laughs> Danny DeVito. You're phobic. I it's know irrational. I look like a boy. Several they different gotta boys. They got to stop putting fucking phobia on the end of everything, man. I, it's, like, ridiculous. But you know what? started it the movie arachnophobia <laughs> wow. Wow. then after that everything went That's downhill strange. and it's, it's it really is hard though because everyone is really, really mean to spiders I know everyone's very negative <laughs> towards them well i watched them think about this this like you know canada hate crime where they beat up this gay guy these kids yeah. and uh it was like six of them beat this guy up to like take, and they end up killing him because because they like to roll gay guys in the park, you know. Yeah. And uh, and they go, the young men had never exhibited any homophobic tendencies. I'm like, really? Is that what it is? They were feeling fear while six of them were ganging up on right. one guy. Yeah. You it's think not a that's fear. phobia? No, that's not a phobia. It's like that's not phobia. That's just no, pure hatred. That's hatred. It's not the same. They're cousins, maybe, but that's not the same thing. They cousins, right. but they don't really talk. And even grandmommy know the hatred is a bad dude. I've never. I and like like it's almost like <laughs> Nobody, to me. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. I like that. Like, misogyny gets thrown around a lot, but I think misogyny is really a phobia. Misogyny Jenkins? And and homophobia (laughs) is really a hate. Like, it's a hate. You know what I mean? Like, they got switched. Does that make sense? What do you think misogyny is like a fear of what? Women. I think it's more. I I think that's not hatred. I think it's fear of women. Misogyny comes straight from a mother. Comes straight from how your mother, your relationship to your mother. That could be true. One hundred percent. Or they could I just know you very well, Annie. Or they're friends with me. <laughs> but it could just be how your how your father treats your mother in front of yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. Mm. But it's it's yeah. directly related to your relationship with your mom. There's yes. no way. What about I? I, like, I uh, fed off the nip, so listen, I'm good. Here's a word. My mother gave me titty milk. <laughs> yes, it's so nice of her. Yes, well, you know, here's it, a word it that's never going away. At least I hope not. Which is cunt. Which like don't what a goody. What a goody. But my, remember, Mike Di Stefano had the best joke because some somebody was like, "That's like saying the N word." He's like, "Well, not really, because the N word is about your skin color, and cunt is a behavior you can change." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, God bless him. I miss him. But why, how is it like it's misogyny? Because the way that gets thrown around, it's like if I just don't like one cunt who's a cunt, how does that mean no, I don't like all okay. the women? I give permission that, do you for all women. Like, well, what's the question? If you don't like one cunt who is a cunt, how does right. that mean you hate all the women? Like, I have to like all of you? Well, you know like what? like women? Kurt, hold that thought. We're yeah. going to take our break, and we'll Already? be right back. We're race wars. Wow, we're at break time? Yeah, we're at break time. Holy we already shit. flew by. Louis, you got us? Booyah! We'll be right back. Race wars. Okay, we back. We are Hello. back. Race wars, baby. Uh, Some real exciting people in the yeah. house. Reintroduce our guest, Kurt. Okay, so it's Emily Tarver, who is uh, TV Karen in my pilot. Yes, and Emily, and we, we did Best Week Ever for like two years, so we have VH1. Uh, yeah, I've been really sexually inappropriate with Emily for years. But well, no one saw it, don't worry. years. She's dating Pete Lee now, so you can probably... He's I know, I pulled it back. I did pull back. I love Pete Lee, so he's I pulled back my, my sexual f- advances. He's probably my favorite host, especially after I already got injured. Oh, yeah. All right. He's a fucking oh, tremendous... He's great. Because they just like him. Listen, I said I pulled back my sexually ava- sexual advances to Emily after they brought their union together. Well, that's for this kind of you. I know it's a lot for you to do that. And, but uh, if they ever let me watch them have sex in a room, I'll come through and watch. Oh, that's right. You guys did the <laughs> show together. That's how you know each other. Duh, yeah. okay. And then uh, Rebecca David Chapman Jones. What's your serial killer? <laughs> 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 Who's uh, TV Sade, Broadway star? She's a star. Listen, I saw her. From kill American it. Idiot? Kill it. True star. No, yeah, in the Idiot. audition, she was like really kind of stood out a lot. This show's Which beneath Emily her. also did. She, this is beneath her. You know how we got Emily? Because I demanded another day of auditions. Right. I was nicer than that. I shouldn't say demanded. But I'm like, <laughs> Dan, can we get like someone that kind of resembles Karen? Did I just get this kind of fat chick? She wasn't that fat, but she was like, it wasn't. It didn't look like nobody I, I couldn't get. Right. You know what I mean? And if I did get her, it didn't look like nobody wouldn't let me fuck her friends. Right. Like, the girl that they want, I'm like, that girl would should just let me bang her friends. Right, right. right. It's it not a real accomplishment. To believe this. It wouldn't be a compliment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Emily was the very last audition we had of was Karen. She? Yeah, that's and she crazy. was like killer at it. The very last one. Oh my, that's amazing. Yeah. You got lucky, Kurt. And then also the other girl they wanted like look like my sister too. On top of it, there's just so many things not going. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to get hard on look camera. My sister was thicker. <laughs> yeah, and I, I can't be a, I can't be coming old Dan set. I gotta keep my moisture for the. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very uh, long day. A lot of re- okay. retakes. We got go-to gay Tommy. You did a fantastic gay segment fantastic for us. Fantastic segment for us, and I really appreciate I mean, it. Let's what get some to call in so we can talk about that. Okay, but hold on. We're drunk to- Dr. Phil's back. I, I think he's as drunk as ever. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm back, and I'm just, just drunk and drinking. I want to talk about black people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, Dr. Phil. You were right off the bat, huh? Yeah. What do you want to say about black people? We were people? talking about cunts when we went to break, Dr. Yeah. Phil. We were going into cunts. Yeah, yeah what is this shit? Listen, is there a thing... Where is um Aaron? God damn it, I can't. You keep didn't introduce nobody. me, the cunt. And oh also, yeah, he's Annie. the worst. Well, Annie, I thought I'm they so just sorry, knew. Annie, Annie my apologies. Annie is uh, the co-star. It's right. called Stand Ups. It's okay. me, Monroe, and Annie Letterman. Never heard in any of you, but go ahead. <laughs> um, I remember you from Best Week Ever, the first one. Yes. Uh, well, here's a funny. So it's all story. We all wrote our own storylines, right? right? It's kind of shot like how Girls is. Oh, okay. Okay, and then the, I didn't know that. You know, it's like it's like a sitcom, but it's I'm not like a sitcom. A okay, kind of. You know, and then uh, so Annie was like the the third person we got. First, it was this is how old this pitch was. It was supposed to be me, Michael <laughs> Shea, and Nikki Glaser. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Michael Shea left to be on the Daily Show. That's how long ago we pitched. Oh, it. that's a long time ago. Yeah. Because he Nikki didn't Gla- do that. Yeah. Nikki Glazer's people just pulled her out. They're like, we got better things to do. <laughs> and, uh, and then we got this girl Sabrina Jolie, who was funny. Uh, her storyline was great. Sabrina Jolie. I think you I know, know her. She's from Canada. She's yeah. awesome. She's she a big best fucking. Ever for a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know yeah. Her. Yes. She packs a box lunch. Get it? And uh, she fucking. <laughs> But her storyline I loved because she was trying to get sperm from her brother to like have a baby with her partner or whatever. Like that was her storyline. Oh, was really? Yeah. Then she left to fucking get a job writing on a mid-season replacement sitcom and like Definitely. I don't know why she did that. Stop it, Kurt. Money. She, you don't know that what, money's not that great. So everyone rejected it, and my people begged for me to be in it. <laughs> no, I begged. All right, we had to get Annie out of this fucking e contract that she was in. To I'm make still a, in it. I'm just second position. I will not be mentioning anything. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so so finally, yeah. Then finally, we got to make it. And uh, by the way, Monroe's <laughs> storyline was great. What so was it? Good. Greer it was, was about him going to find his dad at the uh, halfway Greer house. Greer played his dad. Greer born. Yes, his dad. yes. Yeah, Greer and told Mark me about Norman it. Mark Norman plays yes. the guy who's mm. in charge of the okay. halfway house. 
house, <laughs> which is the funniest shit. Mark Norman is such a funny douchebag <laughs> as the guy. <laughs> hey, well, what's up, dog? Like, oh, yeah, dude, yes, yes, Hi, blood. Yes. He goes, follow me, blood. <laughs> oh. He had a golden bow tie. Dude, oh. it was fu- it, it, he was fucking great on it. Oh, uh, that's yeah. so good. And, uh, but what, why did I fucking bring it up about... Oh, so me and Annie spent... I guess like good. We were up like till late at night texting each other <laughs> jokes about how high up Monroe's Making ass. Making fun of Monroe's ass. Monroe's ass. Is he has so a high, high butt up. bone. We do know that. <laughs> Should we read them? But we had. Yeah. So, <laughs> she was <laughs> saying she can't believe he didn't suffocate on his own diapers as a baby. <laughs> he got the same ass bone as that uh, dinosaur they created in the new Jurassic Park movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like exactly. God damn it, Monroe shit his neck, his turtleneck again. <laughs> <laughs> I said Monroe has a loft toilet. <laughs> He's like, so Monroe, get your wallet. He's like. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes I sleep with my pillow under my uh, upper back so I can feel his struggles. Um, so anyway, so this is for Dr. Phil. This is what I say for Dr. Phil and for Aaron. Like, especially with comedy shit, like, and, the, and I always hear people mad if it's like, if somebody has a joke that's like derogatory towards women in any way. Like, w- what is this shit where I'm supposed to like think you're great all the time because you're a woman? Like, why would there not be a full range of emotions where I'm like, you know... Like you just saying like the people like that's a misogyny like really just all my feelings all the time <laughs> generally that women are always have to be positive or it's just pure hate every like, woman's great yeah like what is that shit like I, wh- I call it like well I think it's sort of like American Idol syndrome like whenever there's a contestant on American Idol even if they suck if like the judges give them any kind of remotely critical feedback the audience is like boo yeah it's because everybody like expects 100 percent positivity all the it's time it's like dance with the stars too and, like this is a generation of I adult babies who <laughs> People, yeah. Do you think people can like? It's because people think like because it's the jobs they always wanted. Now they think they should just because of YouTube, especially. Fucking Jay has a great joke about what? good luck getting your kids to give a shit about like math or something if they're not an Indian. Good luck getting your kid to do anything. Like yeah, it ain't gonna happen. All the all the rest of them want to be just a YouTube. Yeah, yeah. and they can be. They can be. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. it's also these shows that are like, and the real the real victory is being yourself. But right. Really, it's like you yeah, do you. You shouldn't actually have that be your goal. Yeah. Right. And then be that should be just. A given yeah. right like you're starting that's your starting point right. you were you right. yeah be yourself be honest to yourself but don't be like a fucking that's not that's not people the pleaser that's piece not of shit like, yay i did it I'm well myself. you know what the other I thing is just- people need to know that everybody thought you ain't shit Everybody needs to know that. You ain't yeah, shit. No, who do you are? You ain't that's shit. What now your start from there. Should be. Start from there. You your fuck. self-esteem should be like, yeah, no, I'm not shit, but also neither are you. Neither are you, and neither are you, you and neither am I. We're all garbage. Get over your fucking self, you fucking asshole. You like shit with sprinkles on it? You're not special. But the thing that, I think when all that suicide shit, when they, this idea that suicide is anyone's fault except the person who killed themselves, just yeah. so you know, that's on you. Oh, Nobody yeah. Nobody else. Don't worry, I know. When I, I take they... my life, Kurt, I will not blame you. <laughs> but, I mean, we will. Hope that Kurt had a little bit to do with Think of yourself what? as I'm in a control. kiss the sweet death wait, 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 when I do. Like, okay, so if you want to be empowered, wouldn't you want to think of yourself as in control of your emotions and your self esteem all the time? So, like, right. an empowered person can't be really shamed because they are like, no, I don't care what you think. You what know, you, like, if you're really yeah. empowered, right. like, not winning something doesn't make you completely lose track of right. who you are as a person because you're like, oh no, I'm fine. I can improve. Right. Well, that's know? true, well, Aaron. Can, but wait, you know what's even more empowering? It turns out telling other people how they have to feel about you it's that's so the annoying. real that's the real power like you better say i'm a beaut what, what oh dr phil what do you think about all yeah, this yeah dr phil you you know about all this stuff well we we're, we're in a society now where it's a me generation yeah and so everybody is is just so narcissistic it's, it's really a form of narcissism where everyone is all about them and how the world affects them and not how they affect the world around them preach well, dr phil raising pussies that's what we're doing what? Why is Dr. Just, Phil just making real points? <laughs> it, is like, it is, though. It bothers me so much when people get offended. The whole idea of people being offended is like, they assume, like, I know what the fuck upsets them. Like, I said something directly at them. Like, I knew your uncle fucked you with a cucumber, and then I talked about a cucumber, and I should be, like, horrified that I fucking brought this thing. Everyone, like, has their fucking Twitter handle. They have their fucking Instagram. And I'm supposed to be watching it and, like, checking in. I don't give out, like, a survey saying, like, what are the things that offend you and upset you? And then go at them and say what I want, which I would if I want if I believed in what I was saying. I want to like, I want to treat you like your art teacher treated you. <laughs> you want to jizz on me? I really do. That's all I thought about the whole time you were talking. I just want to. I hate you. I'm too old now. I want to so young. Over you. 
He, I was like a golden boy. He sat boy. on your ass and came he on your sat couch. On my, he sat on my ass and jizzed in my knee pit. <laughs> oh, that's right. Your knee pit. <laughs> the knee I, mean, I told him how you said he titanic me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Phil, I mean, how would you counsel? Annie was molested by an art teacher who sat uh, on he her. Had, but wait, you need to understand. He you, had white he, man dreads. And he had dreadlocks. He had, well, that's the first problem there. He, I know. he, he thought he was a black person. He thought right. he'd probably get away with it if he did it because he's black, but he ain't. I wouldn't be able to identify he him. He was trying to be. He was trying to be. He was because black people always rape everybody. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So whoa, that's whoa, why he was trying to be kind of like whoa. fit in. He was just trying to give props to the black people <laughs> and be oh, like God. every rapist. How did drunk Doctor Phil whoa, segue into wow. racist norm, Doctor Phil? So <laughs> <laughs> You either pick a Dr. Phil and stick with it. Sure. You know? well, well, how did Chelly's all how it went down? Because we, I, I haven't heard this story I thought you were going to counsel her like how you did He Kitty. wants to jerk off to it just like the rest of us. Go ahead. Tell well, him the story. Well, here, I haven't heard the story yet. Let yeah. me hear the damn thing. Um, <laughs> you got a bunch of pussies on here. I, I'm getting fed up already. My, my art, have another drink. My art teacher wanted me to pose nude for him. Right. And then he jerked off on my knee pit. So well, you were, you were the moment he pulled his, he took his weenie out, didn't you just he run off the He was sitting on me, and I was in shock, you cunt. What? what, if, <laughs> what, what? I was a child, you piece of shit. Hell oh, you? it was probably my fault. I was 16. Can you yell I was a child again? <laughs> yeah. I was a child. Wait, let me look in your eyes. I was a child. <laughs> I spilled a no, little. Hold on. Huh, 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 now huh. do it again while Shrod looks in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child. Oh, my God. They're touching dicks. <laughs> what happened after he, he after he jizzed on you, he threw I out got like up. <laughs> yeah, you beat right. it. Get the fuck up. I got the up and left. <laughs> He called the cops on you. I went to, uh, I told like my teachers like later. Like, Here's a, a girl here, won't let my jizz get off her. Get, call the cops, get over here quick. I look too comfortable, he called the cops. She's too he, comfortable. How did he get to sitting on Like, it's okay, you're going to post new. Like, did he at least have a sketch pad? Yeah, he had a sketch pad. Okay. Was what, he nice enough to let you pick it off like it was Elmer's glue? Like the third grade? <laughs> <laughs> That's I the one. It's dead skin. <laughs> That's the fun part. I, mean, I listen, Rebecca has problems. For like a whole year, she had to pretend to enjoy the music of Green Day. So, <laughs> we all have problems. We all struggle. <laughs> we all have struggles. <laughs> That's the one time on like Broadway did it better of some song from popular. Like, <laughs> Will you stop I it? never enjoyed Green Day. But ever. that, you should have wanted to go Green to the Day. musical. That musical was dope. No, and it looked like it. That American Idiot like album Day. was dope. That American Idiot album was dope. No, what are you talking stop. about? I, hate, I have a question. Like did this painting ever come out? Oh, good question. <laughs> it did, but it was all see through. Where, where, where can I find it? How was the drawing? The, the, is what the, uh, yeah, he, well, he was using his jizz so when it dried it kind of just you couldn't really see it so he even make an attempt to like there no, was he drew a little bit but i left i left and then was well, there's a sketch pad with a stick figure of annie with two big cans he didn't gave me big tits <laughs> <laughs> you know some mayonnaise on it can i just say something jizz is also a watercolor it, what? So you can use that it, to supplement. If you run out of paint, you could use it as a watercolor. Yeah, color. when you're doing a wave breaking. Yeah, the I get it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. The froth My friend of the has wave. a watercolor dick pics blog. Okay. Yeah, that's she, funny. Like, because her best friend is gay, so he texts her dick pics that he gets right, on Tinder. Right, because that's when grinder, guys should I'm send sorry. it is to other guys and not to women. Them with watercolor. Really? Oh, yeah. the That's glorious. awesome. I should That's do great. that. My buddy haircut Jeff. Sounds beautiful. Always haircut Jeff? Yeah, haircut oh, Jeff. He cool. cuts our hair. He cuts uh yeah. He and cuts our hair? Me and uh, well no, I guess it's me. <laughs> when Je- when haircut Jesse's not around, I go to haircut Jeff. And, uh, okay. But haircut Jeff is you're like, like a third grader. You he know looks that. very school te- But he always hey, says haircut me, Jeff. It's me. He always yeah. He says or a me, very slow adult. He always my text- mommy said don't touch my sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, dummy. He always texts me whatever his fisting adventures are. Wow. Yeah. Well, I like to send him out his like birthday. Let cards. me see one. Let me see a picture. Yeah, I showed you. I showed it to uh, Ann uh, Coulter last yeah. time. Oh yeah, that's right. Somebody had she two hands. She seemed to enjoy it like I thought she would. Yeah, she don't like a nice fist and picture like you thought a <laughs> conservative pundit would like. Well, I mean, the, I mean, the, he's so in there, I thought it was a vagina, but that ain't no pussy. No, let me see. Yeah, that's a butthole. Yeah. Oh, I've seen You showed me that. Yeah. I like how you got his, a tattooed sleeve up in there. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, he's got a sleeve tattoo. It's like, what? where does the shit start and the tattoo begin? Tom, you got any good phone pics like this? Uh, look at that. He got his wrist, his whole wrist up. That's only the wrist, though. Sorry. <laughs> Tommy will have a hell of a summer, not summer impressed. camp. He's not yeah, impressed. Well, that I, ring. Think the, I think the guy in this picture is a trooper myself. That puffy oh. ring of butthole really makes me uncomfortable. That's a good reaction from Rebecca. She it didn't turn like away. A, it looks like an emoji being like, oh! <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> did you, did you just, Rebecca, did you just think it was a picture of a terrible fight? <laughs> like, tell this guy to tap it out. <laughs> this uppercut's devastating. This UFC is out of control. <laughs> uh, he texted me missing you with it, I just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why would I not want to? I want to see whose butthole that is. I mean, uh, yeah, the just, rest of them. Not the mouth. You probably hear his ass whistling down the hall. If he came <laughs> you think it's a dude? That's a girl. That's a guy. That's a guy. Yeah, Jess. he has a lovely soft botox. He does now. I mean, he's been tender. I'm talking about his okay. cheeks. His uh, cheeks, like he uses a oh. loofah. I got respect for this guy. Oh yeah, the very nice skincare on the outer buttocks. I, saw I have it. to give that to him. I yeah. want to see his face. I want to see if his T zone is shining or not. <laughs> Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Karen, you got some news for us? Caitlin, you mean? I mean, Caitlin. I forgot. Really? I, just, I just said the name of the winner. Caitlin <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, was like upset about losing. I can't. You can't. You know, you guys did the it's best. It's not Why real. You, you guys are both good. It doesn't matter. No, nah, I can only be one winner though. Caitlin really <laughs> wanted a Rocky three. Like she did great. Like, she like, Caitlin had a winning we streak. There. Caitlin has a winning streak. I heard. I heard. It's People telling me yeah. I both killed it. And you like you like yeah I won, but those were bums, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Mick? I can't take these guys. <laughs> yeah, it took not a comic to beat me. <laughs> oh poor thing. You ain't sleep last night, did you? I didn't. No, it was rough. It was a really rough night for me. I got <laughs> wine Caitlin? drunk. There were tears in the shower. Okay, but this <laughs> is I woke up covered in pizza and cookie dough. Caitlin, why is, like, is that different? A, by the way, Caitlin's a five-year comic. Did you yeah, think no. you fell from some lofty position? In <laughs> Only in my own head, Kurt. People but that's think where I, I live was all the, the time. Best. They're like, yeah, one of these bitches well, goes Allison the other. Klemp lost respect for me, so you know. Allison Klemp, yeah, friend yeah. of the show. She brought her. the other yeah, one Allison's is running great. the Naked Show now. Yeah. Like, oh, she's yeah. still doing the Naked Show. Yeah, oh, we'll go through and see that. The Naked now, Show. Now that I'll go see. <laughs> All right. I mean, so the news. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Caitlin, Biden is not running. Uh, I don't know why that's news, but that is, is news. He decided not to run for president. Yeah, but it's, he's we not doing he a thing. If he decided to run, that's news. Right now, it's just still the same. He's just he wasn't uh, running before, and he's still not running. At least he told us his reasons now. We know that he yeah. just lost his son. TV, Karen and, and Sean really who do you that. vote? Who you who are you into for the election? Anybody yet? First of all, everybody mm -hmm. voting is off in this room. No, I think I'm the only voter in this fucking room. I believe. That. I, I, voted I think I'm the only yet. voter in here. I'm, I'm saying it out loud. I feel bad about I'll it. Vote. I'll vote. Oh, well, I don't feel. I believe you vote. voted. You I'm live in vote. New York. Your vote doesn't count. My I'm vote counts. No. I lived in Maryland too, and they're gonna vote it there. It didn't I count absentee that? ballot. So I, I absentee ballot to Pennsylvania still. You know what really don't count when you don't vote at all. Yeah, you gotta yeah, no. Go to commercial. Guys, I used to run campaigns. No, it's like can, my you, crack you, campaign. You, you, you First, I'll start with still. voting, and then will. comedy will lose me, and I'll become a social justice worker. I'm like this close. Like it, like you don't. I can't vote. It's when like does the comedy slope. part start? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, Chloe yes. and Lamar uh. have temporarily postponed finalizing their divorce That's after right. after oh. Lamar's. Because Chloe's uh, right now she's nursing Lamar recovery. back from. Uh, from his, uh, yeah. his boner. No, I put that. You know, somebody got mad at me for this, but I tweeted that I'm praying for him after he almost died of the best possible death. Why do people think? For. Why do people get mad about that? That's we funny. Some dumb fucking slice goes. He's in pain. Slice. I go. I said I'm praying for him. <laughs> yeah. I said my oh. prayers are with him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if I do my prayings, isn't that? Helpful? They're so offended. They're so annoying. And it's kind of miraculous that he. Uh, of course, they had him all, all but dead when it first happened. They but it sounded like he was dead for sure. And now he's walking around fucking Instagramming. I know. He should have taken yeah. that death. That was a good death. That would have been a good death. That is death. a really good Just one. Ten days. I love how it's not embarrassing, though. Like, like no. it should be humiliating for him now no. that he, he went came to back. He and got high fives about a million times by you Jesus and sent back. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I mean, I, I hang out at the Bunny Ranch sometimes. Whenever I'm in Tahoe, they're cool. I don't hang out but, at any Bunny Ranch. Hot, I though. fuck but at the Bunny Ranch sometimes. It's not that amazing. No, it ain't amazing. There's a lot of dents. There's a lot of dents in the hoods. I'm into the filthiness of it. That's what I like. I'm not going there for I like fucking the, uh, I do blah, think blah, blah, it's blah, weird blah. how they line them up. I do feel uncomfortable. You have to make like a weird Sophie's choice in front of all of them. You have to make <laughs> eye contact with all of them. I just grab the one closest to me and I have her give me a little toy. Always pick the girl who flinches the most when I go up to her like <laughs> <laughs> She'll give me the right go. amount of tears. Wait, go. They're you not pick, even hot. You pick Dennis the brothel owner? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like my girl Randy Ryder. Wait, That's who's your, who's you guys into? Who are you into for this Randy election? Randy Ryder 69. Anything? What's uh, the Broadway vote? 
The what's the Broadway vote? I would vote. Who is? Who are the people running? Hillary. <laughs> oh my God! You got your Hillarys. I'm you got kidding, your Ben Carlson. I'm Carlsons. joking around. I mean, maybe B- who you rooting for? I know Bernie. Uh, like is the Bernie Sanders? Yeah. How's Bernie doing? Yeah, Bernie. Recently? He's not oh, as do- he's not as doing as well as uh, Larry Sanders. I mean, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, David. Larry David. Larry David. But is it, I kind of think he he seemed a little better after the debate because I was like, there's no way. I was like, he doesn't my vote because he let those black girls push him off stage. I know he's looking better now. He does. But I don't think he can win the. I don't think he can win. No, he's going to give us a nice Trump either. presidency. Trump would be so amazing. Are they going? Is that going to happen though? Can Trump really be the president? That yeah. can really happen. It's yes. so of terrifying. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Of course. Yeah, for real. Those cops uh, I punched. Those cops I punched were like, "Yeah, we're voting for Trump." And I was like, "No." Every time I see Trump now talking about something, I'm like, "That guy's pretty good." Every time I see him now, <laughs> he's talking about. All the uh, cops are going to. He was making fun of the other Republican candidates. Like, uh, I, I mean, I'm telling you, man. It's I mean, be, I think a big surprise is coming. <laughs> it's like, who do you hate more? First of it's all, it's all voting at who you hate. That's how the votes are going to. Be. Right, because nobody like loves. Even people that like Hillary don't like love, love her like right. that. They're just like she can. I like. I think she's I'm, hot. Well, Would I'm just you? like you she's like I'm she's a good. Her. You eat the box. I'm gonna fuck her square shaped box. Just a guess. <laughs> really? You're gonna. Dig. I just want to get right in there. <laughs> You're gonna dig through all oh, those I just fucking pants lady suits. Slacks. Go through those spanks. I just want to get in there. Pants. There's a lot to get through. Yeah. <laughs> Sift through the hair. It's a river of spanks. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, what else you got? Uh, today is Back to the Future Day, um, the October twenty first, two thousand. Throw your hands up like that, Kurt. You know you love a Back to the Future, Michael J. Just, Fox. Smart. Everyone's all what over it. Fucking it's millennial so that wasn't even born yet when that came out and made up Back to the Future Day. Yeah. Well, it's because yeah, no, that. the reason they're calling it Back to the Future Day is because this was the day in the future that they went to. Right. Uh, and said the Cubs, I actually said the Cubs was going to win the World Series, and the Cubs are competing for the World Series, but oh, they're down really? three games to zero against the, the Mets. Oh, who cares? Um, <laughs> wow. God, that was so boring. I forgot, um, just, I ooh, forgot ooh, it was Cut Corner what's, this what's week. What's the town? Cut Corner. From? Cut Corner. Cut corner. I don't, I've never even seen the movie. I like the little shimmy. Wait, you never saw Back to the no, Future? No, I never saw Back what? to the Future. What? Karen, Kate, like, you, you piece of shit. That explains so much. Even Karen saw Back to the Future. Well, yeah, she's been getting you free. You know it's three of them, by the way. Oh, my God. No, but you understand, she was raised on some kid. Kidnapper's Lawn. Oh, I, yeah. just, I just saw Rocky. I've seen both Godfathers. I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's not now. It doesn't matter. You have to yeah. see it when you're a child. Right. Did you see Cornbread, Earl, and Me? Then fuck yeah. all y'all. I saw Cornbread. Oh, my God. No, Cornbread, Earl, and Me, the movie. Go with the theme back. song. Cornbread. Back. 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 Sorry. Did you say yes? Yes. I don't yes. know. I did see that one. I had forgotten temporarily. Thank you. That was Lawrence Fishburne as a boy. That was young Lawrence Fishburne in a movie. Yeah. His first movie. Boy like Fishburne. Cornbread? It's Cornbread. I remember the song, Cornbread. Berlin I man. feel like you just made up a racist song when I'm singing it. And it has nothing to do with what he's saying. I remember the song, no, Cornbread. It's a cornbread song. <laughs> is that the song? Yes, no, we went. Mm-hmm, on cornbread. Mm-hmm, cornbread. At the same time, we went through a phase of just trying to find every like black exploitation movie we could. Not that that's what Cornbread was, but we like Dolomite. You ever see Dolomite, mm-hmm. the original? Oh, yeah. I've seen every single one so of them. I still own them. Heartfelt speech and the boom mic is coming down. <laughs> yes, on him. in the it's, shot. I mean, we were in fucking it's several, tears. It's several scenes like that in the movie yeah. with a boom. Mike is in the <laughs> shot. Oh, uh, it's Danny, like what nigga. Queen B? <laughs> what you thought that was? Dolomite's cock? Get out the shot. And uh, then there's a great Dolomite uh, Rudy Ray Moore improv. It's just him doing improv. Oh. It's just nothing. I guess he was an improv comic, so. He did everything. Yeah, and it, so he's like, come up. It, like, the improv was this woman has a baby, and he's got a construction hat, and he goes, I'm an officer of the law, <laughs> and this baby is too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what level of UCB do I have to get to for that? <laughs> you got to zip, zap, zap to do that. Did you? Were you a. <laughs> Improver, Emily? Yeah, I moved here to do improv and that's how now you so you were in that scene for a little bit? Did you yeah. Rebecca, you just sort of back there? Did you do uh, that? I did do it like really briefly and I dug it, except I um I remember being in the class with a bunch of like Accountants. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I just remember being like very frustrated. Just yeah. looking at me like just frustrated. people who are the who are the funny guy at their office or yeah. not, or oh. the like the really scared person right. that like doesn't talk that's definitely going to shoot up the office, well, but they're like they're someone there. was worried and they said that I should take this class. Yeah, there were definitely. It felt like there were people there who were there to try and like come out of their shell. Yeah. Yeah. Just, they told me I should take the improv. You know? I was in a school shooting, a uh, improv school shooting. No, <laughs> no, it wouldn't even make the news. The people like that's like, awesome. Good. Everyone said everyone said to take improv. Because they don't want me planning things. <laughs> they said I'm always making lists in red ink. <laughs> A lot of names on it. But it's how weird. did you like the fucking scene of improv? Because I'm not f- like, 
It's not my will. Don't attack them, Kurt, just because you don't understand it. Um, I understand it pretty well. No, they it's like a bunch joy of beta and happiness. males and stripy shirts. And, uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like any scene. It's like there. Are, it, it's like it's kind of like high school. There's cliques, and yeah. if you don't fit in, or you're a girl who doesn't fuck we, the right people, uh, then yeah. you don't get to be on a team. This got so scared. I just got scared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, and I, I, can only, I can only imagine I my the right teacher. people. The right people to fuck in an improv class is the wrong people to fuck in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Has to be. I, I fucked. I I dated my improv teacher in the middle of class. He was so mean to me in class that I was like, Papa, and I like started dating him. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'd still be mean to me in class. Like he'd be like, What were you thinking in that scene? I was like, Um, are you gonna go? To, do you like me? Are you, yeah. It's supposed to be fun. And my brother's right? wedding. I don't. <laughs> is it improv? Um, is improv just as competitive with like comedians are like very cutthroat? It's, same it's, thing. I think it's not as. Outwardly competitive, like people are like, still all a big well, group. And let's sing together. But yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, God, it, c- comedy's cutthroat if you're in a shitty little scene where there's right. only a couple people. But, right. And you, like, honestly, I'll bet you all that shit you're talking about fucking the right people. Like, stand up is a lot more egalitarian than that. I swear to God, you get to be way above your because it's a it's a lone wolf job. It's not. Yeah, but one. I think I think girls get really competitive with each other. The yeah. dumb shit that I girls that. do in stand up is like where they they're worried about who they fucked. I'm like, listen, if you're funny, I think any group you fuck whatever you want. Girls yeah. in comedy get competitive. White dudes in comedy get competitive. Black dudes yeah, in comedy get, get famous. Against each, each fucking group get competitive. How many people themselves? have you yeah. heard yeah, that? Yeah, it's girl, like, yeah, like they got my part. How many female comedians you heard that like pride themselves? Like, I never date a comic. Like, bitch, who cares? Yeah, we wouldn't who date you either, fuck fucking you, you mongrel. Try writing a joke. <laughs> nobody, nobody gave a shit. That you fucked a civilian. In fact, I look down on you, kind of. Yes. Like, why would you just... Would you date a guy in a band? You I don't even consider a, a <laughs> female bad. comedians with regular boyfriends as they boyfriends. I just some dude that drives you around to your spots. Did you hear that? Like, they fold like, laundry, <laughs> too. I never yeah. thought... I always make sure never to fuck a... Like, you get extra respect. But if you're somebody who's funny... Right. Then of course you want to be with someone who's funny. And if you're a comedian, that only other person who could be equally funny would be doing it professionally as well. You or just they described our funny. relationship. It does get, like... It does get competitive. <laughs> Though. I don't want to like compete with my boyfriend. No, there's, yeah, there's no, always a that's thing. always been really weird. I dated a comic. Yeah. We were on stage. Yeah. We were doing some like improv thing, and and I said something, got a laugh, and he went, "She says that all the time." Like he like oh. stole the laugh, oh. and I was like, I was like, dude. First of all, I said oh. it one time to you, like, oh. and it came up again, and then he Who goes, "Who did you have, Nick Turner?" Nick Turner. Yeah. Then he throws chips him? against Hold the wall. Yeah, and this, oh, I can't. Yeah. Sean, Wait, this, who? this girl, this girl, I'm on a right necklace. Okay, I had listen. I was low. Outside, Wait, who goes, did she date? Hey, listen, hold on. She I, goes, just, I just want to hear. Wait, the listen, star Josh, I call her Josh, Josh, fat, 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 She fat. goes, she said that... This, he's the, a good dude, she goes, though, but no, I No, he's a terrible person. Wait, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm she not going to, like, smear someone's hey, name, hey, but he's a terrible wait, person. Wait, I'm listen, not going to talk about him anymore. Hey, made my mom cry two times. He's a monster. What? He didn't jizz on her, though. We're standing outside there. She goes, yeah, Kurt, you're physically in I'm like, bitch, you did a Nick Turner. Are you coming on to me, you might say? No, I was just joking, because his eyelids look like ball sack. <laughs> Don't put the nerve, like, Annie will make jokes about I'm a lot sorry, of appearances listen. like she has a leg to stand on. That Nick You thing, dated who? I mean, he's a great dude. Listen, though. he's not a good person. He's not a good person. I don't want to talk shit. I don't want to talk shit on a person uh, that, I'm who's been fucking named. You. I'm definitely fucking you. But he's a garbage person. You fucked that nigga. Don't you feel like she raised you a blowjob? We are definitely fucking you. Fuck that nigga. Get your dick out. I've been out. Doctor Phil even thinks he's entitled. That's why I got a shoe and sock on it. Don't make it a leg, Doctor Phil. Just say Kurt. My dick's been out. It's not. It's not the problem that anyone gives a fuck who you fucked. It's that it's a small fucking pool. So if you fuck one. Dude, and then like bro code, you like X out, then all of a sudden there are 10 dudes you can never fuck because Bullshit. they can't get the, if you're eye, funny, the, the face of that one dude what? out of your I fucking head. Group no? okay. friends. Keep nice. in mind. <laughs> I fuck them in packs. <laughs> yeah, I go, I do two and you guys no. thought it was the art teacher's yeah, fault. I'm going to lose his erection because he can't if, get somebody's face out of his head. If you are funny, I got no my knee on a jizz. No, for career, that's absolutely true. I'm so, talking about dating. Not, who you fuck, it doesn't matter. If you're funny, it trumps all that shit. Yeah. So the girls yeah. who worry about that are not funny. If you at all yeah, worry, it like, trumps it. I thought I'd never fuck But you gotta Shut know. Up, you gotta know that it trumps it, though. You gotta have it in your head. It may trump it, but you might not believe it. Just Dude, like you might have a funny set and you might not believe it. Not everyone. Not everyone. I ain't fucker. You fucker. 
Well, I'm so talking about back in the, the day. Everyone list, though, she's right? a woman of a certain age. Yeah, but back to, in the day, I fuck women of a certain age. I mean, she was with Gary Shandling, like, so that's going back a while. <laughs> Gary Shandling. Yeah, that's right. That's true. But like, like people think she's funny. Who gives a shit? Yeah, you can fuck whoever you want to fuck. I will. She, I think in the held very up, beginning, oh, Sarah I think still it matters. Gets, she knows it. I tell her every day. Yeah. If you're trying to be taken Smash seriously it. in the very Open beginning, it up. but there's like a window because there is like that hiccup where literally no one's taking you seriously anyway. Like, there's no chance they're going to take you seriously. So that's when you slide in, you fuck the guys, you make the mistakes, and then you're. Well, how many black guys what? was on his mistake list, you fucking racist? I mean, come on, you both know. I had sex with white Nick. guys, and then I imagined black guys choking me. Does that count? <laughs> That's because Nick's fat ass is on you, and you felt like you were being choked. They don't mean to put a black dude in the room. <laughs> Nick ate a pizza off Annie's back one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty They called me pizza back. I thought it was back me, but... Uh, That's pretty hot, actually. <laughs> but it was just uh, was actually pizza hot. on my back. <laughs> what do you, what, Slice what do you, me what up. What just hand you? Anything good? Nah, it's just notes. Oh. No, anyway, let's get back to this Nick Turner. No, shit. no, no, no. no, no. I, like, I don't like. I don't well, like. No, he's a good dude. I think he's a funny guy, though. I don't Wait, know. Y'all might not funny. think he's nice. He's funny. He's I think he's, a, funny. I think he's I a bad think person. I think he's funny, but it's. it's he's awful. not a good person. You saying? Mm -mm. It was not good. Oh my god! Hey, he's I really wish his name wasn't mentioned. I could Why? really go. It's too late now. Because it's like you're talking. I don't want to talk Listen, shit on a specific person. No, no, I'm not talking shit about him. I'm talking more shit about your vagina for touching them than him. It was only a couple times. Don't worry over a year. You dated. You can say whatever the fuck you want. We don't give a shit. Yeah, we don't. Um, yeah. Well, uh, the Star Wars thing is what I wanted to get into. Oh yeah, before absolutely. We get out of here. Sure. So boycott hashtag boycott Star Wars uh, seven uh, is a thing on Twitter, and it's it's about small too. Let's keep it real. Yeah, it's five people. No, this is the thing that I that annoys. About this because I promise you it's four fucking people. Yeah, yeah. And these little accounts. humps on BuzzFeed like, we found another racist. This yeah. is like the the Westboro Baptist Church. Like people love the Westboro Baptist Church. I love right. them. I love them because they're just saying what's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> they can read. They're and not very saying important. just what's yeah, in the Bible. They just picked one part, but guess what? They, they say a lot of stuff. They say a lot of stuff. But that's the, the most boycott. easy target. They eat it. It's like, it's so easy. Like They're like cartoon villains. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm better than the West. Oh, are you? I mean, it's pretty easy, right? To clear that bar of Westboro But that's Baptist the kind of Church. foolishness that get oppressed and get attention when right. somebody do some dumb So everybody shit. can pat themselves on the back like, well, I would never be in that church. Yeah. Oh, really? And so that's what this bullshit is. This hashtag uh, boycott Star Wars thing is maybe like a handful of people, mostly racist. <laughs> no, it is. Listen, there's a lame at, but there They're is white, also... white, hands. Those are white dude, hands. No matter how cool a movie is or how good it is, there's always somebody... I was just talking about that show, uh, Mr. Robot, that's a fucking great show. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is good. I'm telling some guy in the crew, he's like... I I thought it was all right. Like, shut the fuck up. You've you never uppity. done anything as good as that in your life, but yeah. you're going to nitpick yeah. the weird little flaws in a yes. great show? Yes. That's like shit I did in high school. I'm like, Tim Burton sucks now. <laughs> like, I have any yeah. idea. <laughs> this guy who's built a career making incredible shit, but I just didn't like one thing. I'm like, he sucks now. Well, well I mean, him and Johnny Depp, one of them's got to die. That's I can't handle that. I, listen, I no longer anymore, believe but... in democracy because of Twitter, and I hate the way Twitter has given people a voice because none of you... Because it's the sheer arrogance of nothing. Things. Yeah, well, what's like, annoying, too, is that it makes us not able to, to, like, we have to be more careful about what we say, but those little fuckers can say whatever the fuck they want. It's I, like they, the you gotta be more careful. I got to be more careful. <laughs> no, then they, get hurt. <laughs> then they get hurt when you fucking hit back to go, well, I'm not a public figure. Right. This dipshit, uh, well, uh -huh. who's that guy, that, that the, the beefy guy that told me I was corny, so I put the picture of him with threaded eyebrows and uh, his shirt Vinny, off? Vinny? <laughs> yeah, Vinny, but he's some kind he's of He's a fucking, nice guy, though. He's a good guy. Both of y'all are two he, alpha dum-dums. Both of oh, y'all. Albanian. I, listen, I'm grading him on Al an Albanian curve, okay? Because I get it. You're a type of Guido person, so you've got your own issues. This motherfucker goes, now you've crossed the line. I'm like, dude, you're attacking me on my shit. Why am I crossing the line? Right. He goes, you're a public figure. I'm a private citizen. You are I talking, agree. motherfucker. I agree. Well, he was delusional. Shut the fuck up like a private citizen. He was citizen. delusional thinking you were a public figure and a big time. <laughs> uh, and that's we both agree on that. That's even funny. You're like, yeah. you thought I was this figure. <laughs> I was up in the... <laughs> The clouds for you. People believe in you. You thought Kurt? you were punching up at me. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was fisting you like that picture. Exactly. That oh. does tickle me. But you I see your dumb white A Guido with threaded fucking eyebrows, <laughs> posting shirtless selfies, has the balls no. to call somebody corny. He's got a nice oh, body. A fucking Albanian. He's got a nice body. I had a guy Kurt. with a nipple. What, is, what has he ever worn that wasn't track? You know something? what? There was a guy fair. talking shit to me that had a nipple. He had, one of his pictures on Instagram was him getting a nipple tattoo. And I just kept going, LOL nipple tattoo, LOL nipple tattoo to everything he said. And he got so mad, he like blocked me. I'm like, yeah. dude, you have a fucking, shut the fuck up. If you're going to talk shit to me, make sure your shit is private. I right. can't find your wife. I will tag her ass. 
<laughs> so fucking fast. I will find her on Facebook. I will send her messages. Sure, like, I, these have you met Girl so Kurt, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, what is Israel? What does that mean? Israel? Yeah, so um, <laughs> today or yesterday, okay, the Israeli's fast. Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, insisted Insisted. That a pil- Palestinian convinced Hitler to carry out the Holocaust. Yes, the, the Grand Mufti. This is right. bullshit. The, the Holocaust chief. never happened. It, well, <laughs> no, Hitler convinced them to hate the Jews. Listen. Honestly, Another God, example of a white man taking a black man's idea. I, the German <laughs> prime minister is like fine with taking something. responsibility for the Holocaust. He's fucking, we were talking about this before. Remember 9-11 with the, where they showed the Palestinians dancing and celebrating? Oh, yeah, that one and little then, group. And then these people that defend them go, no, that was just a lie. That was some CNN doctored up. No, it wasn't. That's a real video from no, that. No, that was real and people that, dancing. And they're, they're savvy enough, these fuckers, to beat people up for videotaping their evil shit they do. So, I, like, seriously, fuck them. Like, here, just, you can't uh, say fuck them all. Kurt over uh, a bunch fuck, of handful of dum dums. Listen, listen, honest to God, you get like I'm not for Jewish settlements. I'm like and that shit. I well, don't no, like I'm not Sharon, for that either. But honest to God, you better drop this shit that there's not going to be in Israel. We say there is, so there is. So just maybe play nice, and then we'll start feeling sorry for you. Like you don't get to stab or do your little macho. Oh, right like, now it's out of control. Sh- yeah. We only shot one rocket, and they here's how many rockets you get to shoot. None. None. Zero. You're yeah. the fucking weaker people. Yeah. That means you don't get to have rockets. But the Israeli really <laughs> fucking but you lay can't, down like Gandhi taught you. But you can't. <laughs> that's good. Fucking lay down. So we feel bad for you. But That's you what can't, you do. But you can't let motherfuckers keep their thumb pressed on your neck or their foot on your neck for eternity. You can't control somebody's fucking inter- imports and exports listen, and their schools okay, and their libraries water. and their hospitals and their water, water and their electricity. Listen, listen, you listen, listen, can't I, control look, all that and think you're going to move up and keep them down. You only right. get rise as high as you holding a nigga down. Yeah, but also on their end, they could, uh, you know, maybe, take, to it. maybe take the protocols of the elders of Zion out of their fucking constitution. They could on their end do listen, that. Listen, it, no, it ain't no heroes or winners in that fucking region. They all fucking shitty, shitty, shitty people. I, I do not know how to live the, together. The prime the way, minister yeah. blaming Period. the Palestinians for the Holocaust isn't helping tensions at all. They love the Holocaust. Do you not get that? The Grand Mufti, Hitler had special <laughs> meetings with him where they established that <laughs> Palestinians wow. are actually a kind of Aryan. Now, Grand wow. Mufti, was that uh, Eddie Murphy's father in Coming to America? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a real thing. That's a real fucking thing. I believe it. Yeah, well, the way, chief talk historian... to people from over there about Hitler. And talk to them for five minutes. Talk to people over here about Hitler. Go to South Jersey and talk yeah. to people about Hitler. Yeah, yeah. like this. He no. has some ideas. They don't love him like <laughs> no, they don't love him like the Arabs do. That, that, I told you that kid. Shit. That, yeah, I told you that kid that worked at the cellar was the funniest shit, and he wasn't mean spirited. Yeah. He was a nice kid from Egypt, and uh, it was funny that she goes, "Well, actually, we don't like Palestinians, but we just don't want Jews there." That's, but he's not like he's just sincerely <laughs> saying that. That go, that happens around the globe. And he though. goes, "So what was so bad about Hitler? He just really loved you know, his country." Nobody ever says that about Jamaicans. <laughs> Jamaica, you never go somewhere like this. Get those fucking Jamaicans. <laughs> Wait, what? People just, they have weed because they got because they laid back too. Because <laughs> they go like this. Uh, let's what's say occurring? No Israel. What's going to be in its place? A nice place? Disney or, World. Who Islamic gives a fuck? I've never, been there. I've never been there ever. Ever. I've never been in that region. So what do I care what's there? Well, that's a Have you been? Here's a larger point. Here's a larger point. I've never point. been there. I don't give that much. I, I do. care what's in Coney Island, nigga, because I go to Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but I, the Star Wars. Look thing, at Karen. Really Look at Karen's Jew. I felt yeah. her Jewish energy burning uh, on me. Look at him asleep. <laughs> He's so bored when you start talking about Israel. Yeah. He's I, like, I don't give a shit either. We oh. shake all those sword noses up yeah. and make them live together. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> it's like I coined the phrase sword noses, but I don't know if I want credit. No. You, <laughs> every time I use it, I'm like this. Kurt came up with that. <laughs> no, I said it on Kyle's Professor Blastoff. Right. You know, Kyle and Tate's Oh, we got podcast. two minutes left. Shit, this one too. By, by People got that. so mad that I said sword noses. <laughs> we need to make t-shirts with a big nose. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, it's like an inch to the Jews. Buy a nose, I give it Thank to Thank our guests for coming on, Kurt. Will you do oh. that, please, you son of a bitch? Emily, when is your uh, thing coming out? Yes. Your, your episodes? Uh, season four of Orange, I will be on. And then November 10th at 10.30 p.m., Donnie on USA is my new show that I am on with my face as an actor. Who else? Wait, hey, Cosby. I'm so happy. I'm so it's proud me, of you. It's, it's, me and, uh, it's me and Donnie Deutsch. His, I'm proud of you. You know that. scripted. The big sitcom. idea, Donnie Deutsch? The Donnie Deutsch. Yeah, oh, really? Wow. That yeah. was Donnie Deutsch? His he final has, like, big he idea. has like a Dr. Yeah, Phil like type show within a show. I play the executive producer. My name's Pam Carver. Oh, that's how y'all doing Whoa. it. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, it's gonna be good. Cool. Tell Rebecca. your father I said hi too. Tell your father I said hi, Emily. I will. Broadway, Rebecca Jones. Dude. What's going on? What's your Father's thing? Hey. I'm not everybody's family. Um, the only other thing I have happening right now really is uh, I have a couple of indie films coming out. Nice. Good soon. On One is a cool, creepy horror movie called Ratter about a real thing that happens, which is when people can 
um, spy on you through your webcam? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Turkeys would be really into that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know technology well enough for that. Um, he just cut a hole in your computer and sit behind it. <laughs> no, they, they're such good actresses, and it made me laugh the whole Amazing. time. Because I had a so script good. of, like, remember my weird gross sex thing that we had? Like, I never dreamed that would be a script that professional actors had to sit they there. Had to, yeah. They had to pretend they wanted that jizz so That's bad. That's the greatest thrill of show bit, of <laughs> just writing. Things. That's the only thing I like about writing, is that a real professional has to take my garbage I'm and just, act it out. I'm just so sad that she got to do all the awful things. Things that Shade did with you <laughs> on screen. Are, um, is Isaiah Washington in any of those independent? We gotta films? go. We got twenty seconds. Uh, Annie, what's Annie, your deal? what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Instagram, follow we my Twitter, pilot, or whatever. We have a pilot coming out. We love you. Yeah. My E show hopefully comes back. Do you want anything you want to promote Tommy. or anything? Tell them at Tommy O'Malley. At Tommy O'Malley. And Tommy's gonna be back with more segments too soon. That was a great segment. Yes, that was awesome. I yes. learned a lot. I'm doing a lot right now. Someone pushed her, and that's fucked Caitlin, up. Caitlin, what's your thing? Yeah, uh, tickets available for I'm probably on October 31st. I'm gonna be in Cincinnati, November 12th through the 15th. Oh, What's come see me. Wait, I'm headlining UCB November 14th for the New York go. Comedy Festival. I forgot. And I'll be there all week for the All right. Race right. was, hey. Yeah, that's the. the, the you yeah. waving me? Yeah, we done. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Peace. Bye. Bye.